many stories and fates unwind, especially here on ITIS. A world that lies and filled with cruelty, though every story has one ray of hope. Itises was the late King Whitewater, who vanished 24 years ago during the Battle of Whitewater. No one knows what the gods have in store, now that darkness rises once again deep within that citadel of black, while far from there blood flows again from crimson cliffs. Well, the lands of Lagalon are, it seems, to be besieged again by forces far and near. Far gone has the saga of Whitewater been prevalent, while legends walk the streets of Oasis. What will the bards recount of the epic tales that are to unfold across Lagalon? To the west, the Western Kingdoms. Held in a delicate alliance centered around the unofficial capital, Whitewater. Here you find old heroes from wars long gone and stories often told. The threads of fate woven deep through these lands. Though many here are tired of war and strife, there are few still with vengeance to be satiated. To the north, the once ancient nomads of the frozen crown of Itis, the Commonwealth, giants, elementals, and wardens of the elemental fabrics, caretakers of life, they have been influenced by the more enthusiastic races of late. Building massive fortresses across the frozen hellscape of the north, they hold true to their more spiritual connections to the gods and to nature. Far to the east, the mystic Jade Lands, the Eastern Empire, locally known as the Jade Jurisdiction, surrounded by misty mountains and filled with thick jungles littered with rivers. Here is the home of the Beast Kin, led by the Jade Palace the home of the Emperor. Many things intrigue adventurers to these lands, though many never return. These lands connected still to the mystical arts and the realm of the spirits breed individuals powerful in the ways of key and martial arts. Finally, to the south, where our story will start, the Scarred Badlands, more specifically the southern tip of Lagalon. Oasis. Crowded streets, noise-filled air, and blood on the bottom of everyone's boot. Thugs, merchants, freemen, slaves, soldiers, murderers, sultans, and bosses. Oasis is truly a menagerie of gold, filth, fate, and odds. Every race walks its streets and does their best to survive day to day. Hello, and welcome, everybody. Are we on the internet? No, wait, that's not our show. Damn it. <laughs> uh, take two. <laughs> take two. <Intro. laughs> Look at everything you ruined. Intro. Ruin the intro. Let's... <laughs> All right, it's not good enough. We got to redo. Redo over there. <laughs> hey, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Spaz here is still, you know, scrambling to get here three minutes after start time. Hey, 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 I'm here. I'm here. That's all that matters now. Hey, at least I didn't pull a Sam Eagle and arrive after, right? I'm here <laughs> on time. At least he's funny. On uh, time. I mean, even that's debatable. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's just well, everybody, unfortunately, we were unable to... Uh, get the first episode uh, archived for everybody to be able to watch again on Friday as planned. Um, but we will go ahead and give a small recap today 
uh, for all those that uh, did miss it. Um, that this part will be able to fit into the second episode slot in the start for people just to kind of hear what happened. Um, I can go over it if if you want, or um, one of the other one of you guys can if you want to have some little talk time here. Uh, well, 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 I think it's fitting for the DM to do the recap. Yeah, I agree. Sure. So last session, we ended up having everybody ended up sitting around at the same tavern. Though this tavern ended up becoming an event, uh, or more along the lines of a small massacre, where guards given the name Bishtar ended up circling the tavern and assaulting individuals inside. Though the whole purpose behind this not entirely made clear to everybody in the party, uh, these events immediately followed the arrival of two individuals carrying between them an injured and unconscious um, middle-aged human male. The entire party here ended up engaging in defending the tavern in some degree, and prevented the escape of any Bashtar that uh, that did initially assault the building. After that, the party began to discuss words and figure out what had happened and who everybody was. Then they were suddenly interrupted by a mysterious masked individual. One of the group ended up seeming to have some sort of personal connection, while another was under the assumption that this person was an individual they were needing to seek out. A small fight ended up ensuing where a challenge was, was issued, and one of the players... And this masked individual um, fought the masked individual, winning, though the player not being uh, killed or physically harmed in any way. As they ended up leaving the tavern to find a safe place as guided by Shadow into Raji, an area north of where they were in the tavern, they found themselves in a building once le, once the home of a boss of Oasis, but now serving as the center of the People's Hope, the building Hope's Hospital. And then there, uh, within the facility, they ended up meeting the leader of the People's Hope, Pull up my notes so I don't say the name wrong. A little behind here. Delta cuddled a rope, Luna said. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> we will get to that. Don't you worry. I'm a little still behind. Can't, still can't believe that. You're referring to Lady uh, Ala, Lady Alqua. Aquafina. <laughs> Lady Aquafina. Tefat. Aqua Tefat. Yes, Aqua Tefat. Thank you. Uh, okay, I pulled it over the exact same freaking time. As they met the leader of People's Hope, uh, Aqua Tefat, a female Goliath, uh, she gave. She allotted the party to take refuge, uh, refuge in the temple for the evening, fed them uh, a small modicum of food, and gave them a place to rest. Few events ended up transpiring through the evening. One party member climbing a wall while 
Another ended up intoxicated and cuddled with a rope. Hell yeah. Oh, these situations ended up causing a little bit of tension in more ways than one with the uh, within individuals of the party. The morning after ended up becoming moments of realization, embarrassment, and apologies. Oh, through the exploits of another party member going through the city of Oasis to find leads on a way to leave Oasis or a way to prevent their pursuit. They came up with a lead to find their way into the warehouse of one of the bosses in Oasis by the name Khan, the one that leads the Bashtar. And that's where we'll pick off and pick up today. All right, then. Because correct me if I'm wrong, but we were like directly in the middle of like planning this like heist. That is correct. <clears throat> oh, I, uh... I do believe we need to gather some supplies before we make headway that also we need to uh reconnaissance the areas and see how the guard patrols were looking today um with the way the port currently is and all the ships off um seems a bit odd it's not normal Um, what say you, Elenin? There's always the possibility of a trap. Mm. True. But they don't know what we're looking for. Specifically, I barely know what we're looking for. But I know when we'll find it. <sighs> the question is... Will we be able to cause enough of a distraction to get in, get the items, and get out? How big of a fire do you want? Well, big enough. But if it starts spreading to other districts, we'll have a really big problem. Pissing off one boss is fine but step too far out of line and he'll have the whole damn city after you trust me you don't want that one of the old bosses learned that the hard way but anyways um i'm off to gather the supplies well don't let us stop you anybody uh, else doing anything uh, I think the rest of us should all gather intelligence and work on a plan. Figure out the layout as much as possible. I uh, am not skilled in the ways of subterfuge. <laughs> Neither am I. And I'm certainly not accustomed to slinking my way around a urban settlement i um, my my expertise is in the woods okay um now correct me if i'm wrong mr archlord uh i do believe this was the locale correct yes all right and which of these are warehouses Um, the warehouse in question, you're not entirely sure of which one that would be. Mm -hmm. There's a large building there with, uh, made of multiple different dome structures and spires, while, uh, you know of there being, um, a couple of smaller, more fortified buildings around. Okay. Um, I will gather what, uh resources i will need 
um which essentially would just be like a few cloaks that we could just blend in and just dust off um some more or less climbing gear for others not myself uh i can climb naturally um and i don't think anybody really needs fire starting kits as everybody should have kids and stuff like that mm -hmm. um i think other than that i would gather what would be necessary return to the party and say something along the lines of this all right um my plan of attack would be best at night so i figure we do the scouting and setting our areas of where we're going to hit now um what do you guys think i'm all ears here listen i am not a thief once again uh, i have no expertise in this type of job understandable I could help with the scouting, but I am not good at subterfuge either. I'm just gonna look at the chainmail. This makes quite a bit of noise. Hmm. I believe you and Elenin would be the appropriate choices for reconnaissance. Well, here's the thing. Everybody can walk past, try and count numbers of guards and locations that have advantage points against our target building. Agreed. But, um, but um, when it comes to getting in closer and seeing more detail, that will be up to you two. Apologies. I, I guess I'm not one for words. Uh, I, I mean the the distraction bit. Uh, you, you guys have a plan for that much? The scouting and the... Um, retrieval that that will be uh that will be us of course but i mean like you, you can cause a commotion to get their ire yes of course i think fire is enough to get anybody's attention especially in such a claustrophobic place okay. i would like not to injure any innocence if we can i would agree with this that would be for the best Especially since we don't know who all will be there. What I can do, um, I may not have mastery of fire or stealth, but I can aid in our distractees escape. That would be much appreciated. We should also have an escape lined up for once this job is completed. Of course, of course. Um... Okay. I suppose a, it's not a building necessarily that has to be set on fire. Hmm. Oh, what we... were you thinking? I'm not exactly sure yet, but if I can find a way to set a big enough fire without hitting any buildings, I'm, of course, that'll be preferable to the rest of you, albeit it would take some extra work. Let's see. Do you know of any more open areas near where this warehouse is? Um, the warehouses are scattered. Um, I will, do believe the warehouse in question will be, and I'll point on the map, uh, will be here in this uh, private villa of Khan's. Um, we will have to be careful, as I've said before, about entering anywhere over in this district as it does belong to another boss and well that's one of the few you do not wish to hire mm -hmm. not a whole lot of options then aside from just setting a fire on the towards the coast what but... about over in this direction hmm? i did not see the click uh is it Hold. Click and hold. Press and hold. Like 
that's where you should look. Okay. Yeah. No, that was me. That was me. Uh, yeah, I, I saw it from the red. Um, uh, it's not working for me for some reason. Do you have the uh, cursor selected? Uh, no, I have the snap to center. You know, click okay, the yeah, top that's left, good. select move. Oh, Press okay. There you go, okay. How about over something there? over here? Hmm. If that... I'm remembering right, that is also part of his territory. Would he not go to protect it? Uh, I'm going to need a ruling on if that's um, if that's guard territory or if that's his territory, because that's like right on the line, if I remember correctly. I don't think it is. I'm unsure, though. I mean, the closer to the mm. docks that we can get with the distraction, I believe it would be the best. They might think uh, us trying to get to the boats. What area? Uh, marked right here, I believe. Yeah. That building. Yes, that one in particular, but and pretty much anywhere in that general direction. Yeah, a lot. Anything that borders the shoreline is, um, you would know, Shadow, is owned by Khan. So what I was thinking is we could hit a building over here. Possibly a building over here, or a building over here, that would pinpoint three directions and spread his troops out. However, that would mm -hmm. leave us spread as well. So those are options. I would prefer to have something closer to our target, not so close to where it's right next to, but still close enough to where it would be chaotic. At Over the scene here. where we would be, is we want to create discord within the actual warehouse, make them unsure, so it would be easier for you two to slip in, wouldn't we? Yes. What is, a, do you know of any buildings close enough to the warehouse that would be strictly a target where it is just the Bishtar? or the bosses, or Arkhan's men, would be stationed. Are there any main docks? Are there any main uh, storehouses on the dock district? I will roll you uh, a roll if you need for that. Give me an, a history. History. One skill I'm not good at. Come on, see that one. All right. One one. You're sure there's like warehouses around the the main harbor area, the the southwestern part of Oasis. You're sure there might be one down there. Okay. Down where? Sorry, I had to turn away for a second. Uh, On the southwest side. Southwest side. Uh, be like between these areas, somewhere over here. Somewhere around here. And those would be, that would be the closest location for something is only inhabited by Khan's men. Uh, for those of you that came in on, on ship, that is uh, the area in which you docked at. Mm -hmm. That is the main harbor. Mm, okay. That will work. It's usually bustling full of Vishtar. Are you certain it isn't too far? Would it even cause a disruption within the warehouse itself? If it's closer to the eastern side of his territory, I wonder if he would even send any men from there to help. Mm, probably not. I was thinking more so along the lines of perhaps this area. Uh, I would just stay as close to the coast as possible, but yes, that'll probably do. As if there's no concern about hitting any innocents, then I could make as big of a distraction as you want. Um, I'm going to do you another history roll. Uh, 
he doesn't usually employ like innocence. He has his guards handle his shit. I guess is the question. Um, or does he deal with, with your with your experience? Uh, most of his stuff is dealt with by his own men. Okay. Um, Alanan? Give me a history check. With your your time sailing, um, you would know that if you want a big marker for somebody who owns or deals with a lot of dock or shore things, you would so you would you would know hitting any of these lighthouses would probably be a bigger blaze and be far enough away from people in other buildings that it wouldn't spread. Oh. Those are lighthouses. I thought those were like oh. guard shacks or outposts. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> if those well. were lighthouses, then you could be absolutely sure that it will be an even bigger beacon. I want to make a quote so bad, but I'll refrain. Um, all right. Then do we have a plan? Well, we have our targets, but it's the getting in and out without being seen that's the bigger question here. Hmm. Okay. And, um, I will hand out some uh, essentially stray cloaks that I've been able to gather then. Alright, uh, I'll uh, I'll give back uh, Phil his jacket he lent me. Thank you. Uh, and Shadow, um, yes? I do know of someone who maybe will give some consistent information, maybe involving this warehouse we're going to as well. Do you know anywhere that this person may be place that may have association with criminal underground or a rough and tumble type of folk unfortunately i've already spoken with them that's where i got my information from i see they're not the most receptive folk around here um I've gotten what information I can. Um, we just need to uh, essentially scout out where our enemy will be and then lead them away at this I point. Uh, I maybe... appreciate the uh, initiative, but uh, around here, um, if you're not from here, you might... Uh step on someone the wrong way i don't know how you say it i'm on somebody's Kinda toes uh, I, I think so maybe their tail perhaps he'll kind of grunt at that <laughs> <laughs> all right well maybe after we uh, get this heist over with maybe we can get some more information maybe involving my uh, boat or anything possibly possibly Um, well, I'm not the best with sneaking either, so I could definitely help with the distraction. Uh, I'm just at whoever needs help with anything. I'll be right there. All right. So I guess I'm with you then, Ellen. How uh, oh. how handy are you with that bow if it comes down to it? I didn't get ah. to see much of your work out there, unfortunately. Um, plenty handy. I think we need to, first off, throughout the day, we should 
have everybody try and pass by at least once by the target building and try and gather um, guard numbers as well as look and see if we can't find a good position to have a lookout. Um, ideally, somebody with good ranged um, capabilities as well as we should try and find a spot that's going to hide them or be along our escape route. Okay. Um, see a couple different ways we could do this. Uh, we could have people come along through the south side um, or north side and come around and around. And that mm -hmm. will pretty much cover the entirety of the building. Um, looks like there's a couple of buildings that could be good for lookout positions. Um, one of these up here, if we were to try and make our escape route come up north, or we could have them over here somewhere if we wanted to escape west, but that would go play putting us towards where our distraction points will be. I think it'd best be to go away from the distraction points. Yeah. If I may offer uh, an idea as well. Um, one of us could uh, go back to the tavern. Uh, these are the same individuals that assaulted us. Their uniform may be the same. So if one of us would don the uniform, we could potentially infiltrate that way as well. Good. That was a good idea. Mm. Who among us would be able to pose as uh, these people? Because I know some of us wouldn't be able to. Being large cat folk or orcs and <laughs> The like. Indeed. Uh, myself and our uh, feline friend here may be too big, but there are the rest of us that could potentially pull off this ruse. Yeah. I, uh, I know. Arch, did I draw those borders correctly? Arch. I think we broke I'm here. No, I'm. I'm just drawing it right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Denied. No, that's fine. Uh, I'd rather have it drawn correctly than incorrectly. I mean, being a city by the sea, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there were some sea elves in the mix of the ranks of the Vistar, but I can't recall if I saw any back at the tavern. They generally will get what they can, but they're um, a little less. Uh, what's the word? Diverse? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh. But I do like that plan. Uh. Do you wish to uh, go first, Elenon? Or shall I? Um, I first want to do our scouting block buys to try oh, and get... That, yes, that that's um, what I meant. Yeah. I can do a couple passes. I have... Um, sorry, my mom just broke my truck. Um, let's see I can do a couple passes I do have a cloak that's double sided so I can change the color of it and okay. not draw too much attention that's fine um, then everybody essentially can do a walk by at least once and uh, try and gather some in information. Okay. 
And do you want a particular role for that, Mr. Arch? For the passing by? Uh, yes. Yeah. Gathering Who's going first? Um, I'll go by and I'll take a kind of northern route, go around here and then down over here so I can. And a perception check. Yep. Twenty-five. Nice. So you pass through this area. Um, you do see the there is a lot less uh, of these bishtar. The very the individuals that wear these very colorful or almost rainbow-esque amounts of sashes and uh, wraps. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you get to a point where there is this uh, metal fence uh, with these spikes at the top that, that wraps around a, a few buildings, though on the exterior there are these larger stoned and uh, reinforced buildings, there is one that has a large fence wrapped around it. Uh, okay. This about a two-story tall building made of stone. There are some uh, there are some glass windows that have curtains and things that cover them almost entirely on the second floor and on the first floor. So you pass by, you uh, do your best to to kind of see into the into these windows as you can. And inside one, you can see what looks to be uh, a stone figure of almost um, a sphinx of some kind. And a whole bunch of art that decorates the walls and many different things as you get this one glimpse through a single window. Okay. The other buildings around here are large, massive dome-like structures with spires. Um, others fortified buildings with no windows, just walls and heavy gates chained on the outside uh, and barred all across. Okay. Do I notice a good position for a lookout to be along the northern side? Uh, along the northern side, no. As you try to find a place up there with your 25 perception, um, you do notice that there are a lot of people walking amongst, uh, along the roofs of buildings. Uh, though these people are dressed very differently from Bishtar. All right. All right, and that is your uh, first pass. Yeah, that's my first pass. Anybody else want to go by? Um. Yeah, I'd also like to go by. Go ahead and give me a perception. Nice. Hey. Hey -yo. Um, how soon after this uh, are you making your pass, and are you going north side or south side? It'd probably be, what, an hour or so? And I'd go along the north side, but in the opposite direction from uh, west to east. As you go through your kind of um, weary nature, where you keep an eye on a lot of things around you, you you notice these same things as Ellen Ann did, though there's one thing you catch uh, as you are passing into the area. There is a large um, grouping of people outside the fence. As you don't try to push into it, and you stay on the outskirts. You can see one individual, though you can't make out their face from the direction they are facing away from you. They are talking with um, a, a shorter individual than themselves with this almost light kind of uh, complexion. Uh, these, this individual is wearing like navy blue sashes uh, and uh, this kind of heavy purple sash across 
uh, the midsection as they have this wonderfully bright face and they're shaking this person's hand vigorously. Wolf, Mike. Um, and as as you you're about to crest to see this uh, opposing individual's face, um, the the greeting individual beckons them inside this stoned building. Uh, the the one here in the center that's wrapped around by a fence. As the individual progresses, you not able unless passing unless pressing against the fence, able to see who this individual is, as they both enter into the building. Other than that, you don't see anything different or new. The Bashtar number on the outside at this time, probably somewhere around 13. Well, I'll relay the information and go up to Shadow afterwards and ask if <clears throat> they've ever noticed somebody that wore those kind of garments before. Um, now, as a player, that sounds awfully familiar. Um, as to not guess, I think I'll do you a history, correct? Yeah, go ahead and make a history. Okay. Somebody's been well traveled. Will that enable me to do a history as well? Absolutely not. Um. I'd sure. say sure. Um. There, there are big cases in which you, you, you may have. You, you can't quite place this individual. The, it does seem familiar, in some degree. Uh, some degree, um, the shorter fellow with this very, uh, ex like very expression uh, kind of face, but you're you're not able to quite put it. Okay. What um, kind of clothing do the Vishtar wear again? Um, you would have seen the Vishtar wear like these. Um, kinds of reds or uh, like uh, rose colored uh, burgundies and uh, blues and purples with uh, browns and gold accents all across them. It is in the in game uh, chat, by the way. Uh, there are a few pictures. It's that top picture there if you were curious about it. Uh, okay. And so uh, remind me so it was the one in blue and purple that was inviting the other in or was being invited in? was inviting one in. Okay. Okay, and the... You said one of them was short? The the individual that uh, Arya viewed greeting um, or inviting in the other individual was somewhat short, though not like three or four foot, probably like five, seven. Okay. Um, five, five. Okay. So, question... Between anyone who has been here to Warriors before, has anybody seen, like, Khan in person before? I mean, I might have. Do you want me to roll on that? There, there is one person that has. Who's that? Uh, who's, whose mother got taken away by a strange man and these kinds of clothing. I was told not to uh, deal with Artif Khan. I'm trying to avoid him. Mm. Okay. Well, you would have information and you would have seen him then. Uh, no, I was just told, oh, told to avoid him at all costs. Okay, then. Um... That's that then. Then I think we got enough information. Um, otherwise, I would go and check uh, surrounding patrols. Essentially. To see what uh, their reinforcements would look like if something were to happen. 
Okay. Go ahead and uh, if you're if you're wanting to get into these buildings, I'll need a stealth check and whatnot. Or if you're just gonna go on the outside and monitor, I need a uh, perception. I'm not looking to get into these said buildings. I'm looking for um, guard patrols, more or less. So I'm going to go with perception. I think that was, yeah, that was perception. God, As normal in Oasis, the city streets are way too crowded to get a kind of feel for uh, where specific individuals are, their kind of routes. As you... You try to follow for an hour or so a group of Bishtar. They don't seem to take any path. They just, they, 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 you can't really tell what kind of ordered struck, uh, ordered path they take. As, as they move around uh, the area, you follow them in multiple loops. And sometimes they stop and find themselves in dead end alleys where they have a break and then they go back about. Uh, there's no real route that you're able to discover okay just so they patrol. just kind of patrol randomly almost they might or, they might or there could be the you might have picked a bad group or you might uh this might just be the same thing but i lost it's the first day <laughs> no they're just a bunch of shammers that's all it is <laughs> <I'm lost. laughs> knocking on doors hey do you know where this area is <laughs> Thanks. Roman around. By the way, we're robbing you. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. You 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 do actually, as you guys have spent time in the areas, there are individuals that do get mugged by the Bishtar or by uh uh other individuals and just things like that throughout the day as you're trying to be uh below the radar while trying to get information. These things do occur and you have bore, uh, bore witness to some of these. Those of you that have gone out. Yep, of course. Um, if that's going to be all for yeah. everybody patrolling around, I want to do one pass uh, after nightfall. And I'm going to come up along the southern side and then go up along the eastern. So that way I can kind of get a good idea um, of this whole area. I want to see what our best escape route would be. As well as I want to see, um, numbers of guards in the area after dark. Okay. What race are you? Um, I am half health, half orc. Question. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It is possible, yes. Wait, what are you planning? Um, how you do? All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, you roll me a perception. Perception. Damn it! Oh, ah, oh ah, my ah, god! Ah, oh no! <laughs> yes, I do. I do you walk through eight. that area. You can it's see the building. Eight. They're, they're still there. Uh, yeah. However, <laughs> it's it just for some reason the they're not carrying torches. They're all staying away from the edge of the rooftops. It, it, either that, or you're still got like food stuck to your teeth, and you're more focused on trying to get that <laughs> out of there because it's just like it's, it's stuck in between, and it's kind of pushing your teeth apart. <laughs> it's highly annoying. As you're just walking, and then like. <laughs> After a while, you finally get it out, and you turn around, and you're like, oh, wait, I passed the building. <laughs> Fuck. And you can't tell if the building's brick anymore. <laughs> so I got is no it, information of that. Uh, is the building wood? Um, I'm going to look around. I'm assuming I'm up in this area now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look for an alleyway where there's very little people. I'm going to switch my cloak around, and I'm going to walk back down and around in reverse. All right. Um, give me a stealth check. <laughs> to be unnoticed. Walking backwards through town. 
16. Okay. All right. Nice. nice. You you find a, an alley that you can dart into and you uh, reverse your cloak. And you head back in that direction. Give me a final perception. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Yes. No way. No. No. Holy fucking way. I mentally called that. Oh my god. As as you, as there's, as you're just, your focus, you're like, all right, all right, my, I got that out of my teeth. Uh, You've checked your breath on on your way that way. However, as you're moving this way, you can't, you just can't help but feel like you're being watched. And as, as you turn around and you look over your shoulder, there are there are two individuals actually following you. They're not being quiet about it. So you can hear metal against metal kind of grating. So these two individuals are walking towards you. Um, Begot your perception, you can see that these individuals are wearing entirely black and have a mask over their face as they're walking towards you. What are you going to do now? Um, I, I'm i assuming I'm down here now. Past uh, the building. N- no, you're you're coming up towards the building. Coming up towards the building? Yep. Mm. Alright. Fucking book it. <laughs> I'm Pay going about. to keep moving this way. <laughs> My rogue sense is a tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Along this way. Um, Are they keeping pace or are they trying to catch up to me? As are I'm you moving. taking? Are you taking a second look back? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, please roll another crit fail. Oh, please. <laughs> please don't. I, I'll don't look back. Yeah. Don't pull a Travis. Please don't pull a Travis on us, dude. As, as you look back, uh, <laughs> you notice one. Uh, their upper torso begins to move forward slightly faster, as it looks like they're about to sprint at you. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? I'm breaking into a sprint. Get the fuck out of there. I'm fast. I'm a rogue. <laughs> as you take off and you go around the corner, as you're running down the back of this building, uh, uh, you you give one final look back as you could just see two guys just standing there laughing at the corner as they turn back around. <laughs> okay. Oh, bastards. Um, I'm going to head up uh, wherever we're situated. Yeah. I don't know where it is exactly. Are you going to attempt to uh, blend in with the people now again, or are you just going to go straight towards your group? Um, I'll meander my way back towards. So like, I'm assuming now I'm over in this area. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is the group at at this point? Getting ready um... to stage our, uh, Infiltration. Where is the group at? I and, kind of figured we were somewhere up. He- oh, damn it! I don't know. I don't. Me- I don't remember. I thought we were sli- somewhere least. like up here, one of the bigger uh, buildings. You said, so I figured somewhere in this general vicinity. I don't know where the hospital is. is... Yeah, that's uh, that's what I was ho- thinking. The hospital's over here. Wrong. Okay. Okay. So okay. then. Okay, I and would. would uh, sorry. Right. Because I wandered over here. That makes sense. Alright. Um, I'll meander my way over, making sure I'm not being trailed to the hospital. As it pushes into the evening hours now that you guys have spent uh, a, a portion of your day walking through town, grabbing supplies, uh, food, um and taking passes at this building uh it's progressed towards the these evening hours the sun has set and uh you can begin to see vapors from your exhale mm-hmm. it is it is it is becoming that part of the season here in the desert that it is getting cold Uh, this time again. I just to get right. cold at night. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, well, there, there is a strange humidity in the area that you are in, in Rajis. Just the body heat. Though, as you... As some of you are probably out separated from people, you can, and you do occasionally get that external breath that you can see. But it was not constant. Feels like home. Hmm. Oh, did, did anybody happen? Like, what, what exactly is the interior of the lighthouse made out of? Is it like, like a brick lighthouse? Um. Did anybody go look? What I remember, most of the buildings are made of clay, brick, or wood. But the lighthouses, uh, I don't think I have any information on. Lighthouses so... would usually be made of something fire resistant. Which means we just have to make them flammable. Or you could collapse one. <laughs> that too, but we need we need the distraction to last longer than just oh, a building collapsed. Mm. Because with a fire it's all hands on deck. If a building collapses, well that's it. For the benefit of, of our viewers here, there is a historical moment in which one lighthouse did catch on fire. And it was the uh, the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria. Mm. That actually burned to the ground, believe it or not. And then fell into the ocean, or the Mediterranean, after an earthquake. So... Interesting. I mean, the a lot burned down in Alexandria, though. The lighthouse would have stormed too. oil, would it not? It would have what? Stores of oil. Uh, you possibly might be right. If we set fire to those, would they not burn and explode? An explosion, perhaps. But we need a constant fire. Let's see. I'm I'm actually. Hmm. Give me an intelligence check. Well, me? Yep. Just a just an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, I mean, I am actually quite intelligent. May I try? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This will be wonderful. Do it. I mean, oh, <laughs> that's <ooh>. funny. <laughs> 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 The nat 20s and the nat 1s really coming into play today. Right. Well, he got nat 2. <laughs> Loria, you realize that oil doesn't explode. Oil burns. And is a very constant burn. Hmm. You know, BP, that, that whole thing years back. Beep. I'm sorry, what? BP uh, oil, yeah, oil BP spill. oil, oil yeah. spill, fire, everything. It lasted for yeah. like the hours. ocean was right. literally on fire. It's... Yeah, <laughs> oil will burn until oil is gone. <laughs> True. Leave it to man to literally make something happen that really shouldn't happen, like burning <laughs> the ocean. Yeah. What? <laughs> Yo. Don't tell me I can't burn water. I'll show you. No, somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody just said, "Bet you won't," and is like, "Bet," <laughs> like, lights the ocean on fire. Like, hold my beer. Hold my beer. Hold, hold my beer. Just this America. We do what we want. <laughs> this America. It's America. Um, true. Very true. So, I'm um, going to. I'm going to take. Okay, uh, Fel, give me that cloak. I'm gonna take a pass at the lighthouse. Why does it have to be my club? I, I. Someone I have gave spares. out a bunch of. Yeah, I, Wait, I, I had this another. Made. Yeah, it's pretty. But did we all comfy. get cloaks? Use one of the yes, regular. Oh, the I missed that part. Sorry. Okay. Please. <laughs> Look under <laughs> your chair. There's a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? This is gonna be a <laughs> thing. Wood, so. Uh, my, okay, I'm taking the cloak and I'm taking a pass at the fucking lighthouse. Not my cloak. <laughs> my, my cloak. I'm taking the cloak that was given to me. 
that I didn't know I had until just now. Smash be like, give me kindling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, light your cloak on fire, bitch. Uh, it is nighttime now, right? Yes. Yep. I have dark vision, though. Who here doesn't have dark vision? That's, That's true. Well, uh, yeah. Delta. <laughs> um, <laughs> literally the only one who doesn't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take a past the lighthouse. Uh, coming out this way, or rather, walking kind of, kind of like past here, and then coming back up and circling around. Basically, I want to see uh, if there's anybody a posted outside, and b where the entrance is on it. Um, give me a perception. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bruh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. These perception rolls are shit today. Oh. the magic number. As you approach the lighthouse, you you think that there might be some people inside, but there's there's there doesn't appear to be anybody outside. Jesus Christ. Okay. Do I at least see the door? Made out of wood. Yeah. Okay. You can see the door. Just make sure I can see that much at least. Good God. Okay. Well. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna head back to our fucking uh, our rendezvous spot. Uh, so, Bell, did you want to go see if we could recover some disguises back from the tavern? Oh, I don't think if we're going to need them if we're lighting a lighthouse on fire, my friend. I guess you're right. <laughs> or two. Wow. Or, or two, if that's the case. Uh, I think I'm sure we could ready. just to assist the two going in, but um, only one of them's going to be able to wear it. Don't look at me. Yeah. And how common would elves be in this group? I'm going to be real honest. All their faces are covered with garbs. So they wouldn't be able you to see right here. See. Okay. Uh, Shadow, is there any sort of group we could, uh, try and maybe blurt out and say during the fire to try and maybe distract the Bishtar, maybe some sort of organization we can blame on them? Like a rival organization? Yeah, sort of like, we can just, it, when the Bishtar is coming, we just say like... A mystery. Uh, yeah, like the, like an example, like the Raiders, they ran that way. You know, sort of, maybe distract them a bit more. Are there any bosses who have a grudge against Khan? Exactly, yeah. Now you're asking the right questions. But you're asking it in such the wrong manner. Uh, who would who want his territory? have a grudge against Khan? Um, <laughs> there is one uh, dragonborn that I remember. I can't recall his name. Him and the Khan never saw eye to eye, but they weren't they weren't main, shall we say, rivals. Oh, I can't remember his name. I don't have that one written down. Uh history, here we go. For again. Hey, look, there we go. Up. Wow. <laughs> you just had to get the bad karma out of the way. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah, you will remember that this dragonborn individual that you are referencing, their name is Demir Dirsky. <sighs> Demir Dirsky. Bless you. Um, Come on, that's not even a bless you name, all right? Uh, 
That almost made me sound Russian. Like, <laughs> <ugh>. <laughs> it's Dersky, yeah. And how is that spelt? <laughs> That's what it is a bless you name. <laughs> and how is that spelt? Uh, D-E-M-I-R D-E-R-I-S-I I-S-I? I-S-I Demir Dierski Dieris Wait, Ski? Dierski? Yes, Dierski It's Dier that Ski Demir Dierski Wait, so where's the K? And the family name? Question mark. <laughs> it's how these names are pronounced. All right, you blame Google. You blame Google. <laughs> Do you want Google to pronounce these names? God, I hope not. Google oh, yeah. Are we the name? I I won't. I won't. I don't explain my methods. Just accept this man uses Google to pronounce these names. Okay. Oh my lord. Well, let's not criticize, let's do the plan. That's not, that's not <laughs> how I came up with the names, though. So did you do Google thousand-year-old Russian names? <laughs> I don't exactly Google names. I come up with names and I throw them in Google to have Google tell me what the closest like language would be and to pronounce it in that. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what I did. I came up with the name, or at least the spelling, and I was like, what the fuck did this sound like? So, there That's you go. Demir Dierski, uh, Dre's dragonborn boss of which area? <laughs> oh, Shadow, I'm thinking about it as a banner where it's deer skiing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking of. I remember that he's not currently a boss now, but he is in dire straits for territory. He's trying to reprove himself. So, so it wouldn't be too far fetched to think that we could place the blame on him. If he's desperate, it would be an easily believable fib. True enough. If you can get someone to believe you. The burning of a lighthouse would not be easily blamed on someone wanting to grab territory. Hmm. Unless we left a calling card of this. Does he have a sigil of some sort? It makes less sense, though, for him to do so. Or we could just really, um, take out everybody at this facility. That we need to get into and leave some sort of mark that might show it as him maybe have the main person um if any of the spellcasters can make it look like it uh someone's a uh dragonborn isn't the whole idea of having the fire to pull people out of the warehouse yes yeah, but, but somebody might see us done. still Once the job is done, we could definitely put blame on them. That is unfortunate. Oh. Uh oh. Did you guys yeah. get that? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling it too. It. That was another earthquake. <laughs> Ooh. Holy cow. Oh, poor Delta has lost power. Yeah, he lost power. <laughs> and we lost our Delta. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, Winter in Canada. Is that seriously Canada. another earthquake? That was another earthquake, yes. Oh I didn't God. feel anything over here. Yeah, we got it here. Holy cow. Nice. Mountains don't get earthquakes. Your insulation <laughs> absorbed it, Arch. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I suddenly jumped. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well... I would say, uh, we can go about this one of the two ways. We can either infiltrate stealthily, like the original plan, or we can just go in and take them out and just not kill Khan. I, vote, many... for the, I vote for the distraction. Because yeah, how many guards did we actually see? Or did you guys actually see? Roughly Numbers 13. we got 13, yeah. 
that would be a stretch for two people to fight through 13 unless i mean well, we, the rest of us were with you but that's yeah. also for only what we saw on the outside yeah mm. for we'll the see. whole group to take down 13 wouldn't be that much of a problem well and um, plus what we didn't see but they would get reinforcements who yes. knows how good. much so we need a distraction exactly a so distraction at least one while we do the do something. while the while somebody steals it, I think would be the best option. Yeah. Would they be willing or would they um not be willing to follow into a certain area? Are like you talking maybe... about the guards? Yeah. Well, the ones specifically there are just there for guarding the perimeter and make sure nothing goes in or out without Khan's say in the matter. Um, they might follow you to about the gate, maybe a little further, but they won't leave sight of the the home. That's it. Mm. So really we have to get out of the city in order to Get away from them, the guards or the well, Ashtari. I think he means the, the gate of the actual premises. Right? Mm, so essentially, yeah, like this is where the guards would be and they wouldn't venture too much further from it. I don't know. If they think we stole something, then they'd probably follow us. Until... Um... Yes. At least to the border of the next um, crime lord's territory. But they, if they're ballsy enough, they might go all the way towards the gate. Or if we um, were to, say, have a boat off the shore that we escape to, just like steal a small fishing boat. and um, has boat. all the boats. Yeah, they, they have them all off the of the dock. Like they're all like out on the water. There, there are I no boats swim. on the shore. <laughs> You yeah, just swim to a boat. I'll swim out, grab a little I mean, fishing I, boat. And... I could definitely swim out and go get one, um, but it would be kind of hard to probably find one out at night. Yeah. Huh. Um, but I think just like a little ding, like a just a boat, just to get, you know, uh, just a, a few people on it would be enough. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about a little uh, rowboat. Possibly. Yeah, something or a small fishing boat, like maybe, something maybe. that would. Wait, so oh, get a little bit of fish and they they come back to market. So so all all the boats are out like in the on on the water right now, correct? Mhm. Mm so mm -hmm. there's like none at, at the docks. Do they come back at night? No, the 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 con took them all off of the docks and put them away to stop us from leaving. So this is correct me if I'm wrong. To go down for one person. To it stop, does seem a little bit odd the response to, that the Khan has to this. To stop all trade of his finances for one person. If we were to hit both lighthouses, take out if we were to take out both lighthouses, even just as a distraction, it would throw not just the the Bishtar on the land side into disarray, but the ships as well, wouldn't it? It would. They might be able to see the lights in some buildings, but to see the shore exactly, that means they... it would be double the priority because no ship could come back into the harbor without the lighthouse. They would be docked they... or anchored outside anyway. They wouldn't try to come back in. I mean, I don't see any large docking areas i see small docking areas uh just oh. imagine them um yeah. i believe there is one over Besides, here i um, mean i see those maybe stuff over one here. here but uh generally there's not a whole lot of like i think there would be like some smaller ones probably over here maybe yeah. one over here that would be directly connected to uh his but this is the main one from what I understand. Yeah. And then the other ones are just small. 
besides the military ports, which are in here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So okay. then we need to settle on the plan. Yeah. I think doing if we what? hit this one and this one here. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have to put a considerable amount of priority. We have to hit this priority. one here. Uh, this one right here, it's questionable whether we, or not we should hit that. Because that's really close. Like, That's not an actual measurement, but I get what you mean. Yeah. It could... See, like I was saying before, if we hit a target too far from, the act from our actual target, he might not lessen his defenses to go and you know try and put out the fire she if we get the one closest point. if we hit the one closest to him there could be the chance even though for the most part they stay within the premises they could he could seeing as it's an, an it would be an incredible loss to lose that lighthouse send bishtar to go and try to put out the fire and help in any way that they can the likelihood of him sending any forces of this location to the further lighthouse is unlikely at best. Yeah. Okay, then. The next question is... Enforcements from joining, though. Who is hitting the lighthouse, then? I can make the biggest fire. Okay. Yeah, I'm, you'll need someone to watch your back, at least. And I'll join you for backup. I believe Phil and Stolen would be appropriate for this. I um, can definitely assist with the fleeing potential, but I am not stealthy. Yeah. Having you on standby would be good enough, just in case things go south on our end. After all, we'll need a wall, so to speak. Um, I think the best idea would be while you're hitting this, uh, if Fel were to be up here, keeping an eye on them somewhere, um, and then as soon as you guys are done, book it, come back it around, come up around here, and then get ready to uh, assist us with the extract. Okay. I like the sound of that. Just keep in mind, um, and if you are entering this territory, you might not be treated the nicest at night if you aren't, um, shall we say, shopping? They don't like, um, window gawkers. Remind me again who controls that territory. Uh, that would be the ghost. Uh, that is the trading in red light district specifically also the fastest way for us to get out of the city it would be to go north in either this way or to go this way well i'll have to make a stop eventually on the way out you, if you need to stop and do something, then you need to do it before we go. It'll have to be after. Um, we might have guards on our tails after that. Oh, that'll be fine. I know where to drop it. We have to deliver the goods. All right. I think it best that we grab some desert cloaks and some provisions as well. I made sure to grab that when I was grabbing supplies earlier. That is accounted for. Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, Shadow, you said even you're not exactly sure what it is we're hitting this estate for? Um, I'll be upfront with you. Um, I know I have to grab a vial for our my informant other than that the same warehouse that we will be hitting will have the goods that i need well what are these goods i need to know as much as possible 
about what items we're looking for. I was told that we would know it when we saw it, and... I'm informant. <laughs> yeah. I am... That's poor information to plan a heist on. Look, Shadow shakes his head, obviously upset. This information... You will understand. What I understand, what I understand is that we are currently on the run from one of the bosses in this city. And you're asking us to make a heist, to perform a heist with little to no information on what it is we're getting out when this affects all of us. This is a valid we, point. We I may agree. not know each other well, but if we're going to be working together, there has to be at least some modicum of openness. This vial, what is it? Do you want the long or do you want the short? The I'm long. Poison? The long? Okay. There is a boss, as I have told you, we avoid the sewers for a reason. It okay. is. Uh, he is a, a king among rats, essentially. He runs the upper districts, and he does so from the shadows. He does not like people interfering with his territory and has sent various messages through, uh, shall we say, plagues, pestilence, uh, diseases, and they have been <clears throat> received well. Um, now, Khan has gotten his hands on some sort of, oh, I don't know, some sort of concoction that would make just his troops immune to these concoctions so that he could fight this other boss back. For this information, I had to trade him this vial. Just a sample vial, nothing more, nothing less. I got to keep my head and walk away. Now, uh -huh. in that same warehouse is what we are looking for. He did not give me other information oh. as I was in no place to bargain. <laughs> Now, the choice is yours. I've made the suggestion before. We can go in and we can take him out. Or we can do the heist. We need to do this fast, as we are burning, um, moonlight. I would prefer to remove all the heads of the snake if possible. It's much more complicated than that, as Master Hawk has stated. There's a lot more politics behind the lines that we really know. It'd be so much simpler if we could just burn it all, but seeing as that's not an option, I'll have to settle with espionage. I never I did apologize like... that this uh, is uncomfortable for you all. Uncomfortable? Not necessarily. Uh, not preferable? Definitely. But it is what it is. I'm down for this plan. But like you said, we all have to be absolutely sure it's what we want to do. We have to know our roles exactly and play them to the letter. Mm. Alright, so when we get in there, we're, we need to look for the vial and this other stuff that we'll know when we see it, or you'll know when you see it. We are looking for one of his warehouses on his personal estate. It will have a sign on the door that I will know when we see it. In okay. that particular warehouse will be what we are after. Oh, it's just the vial that we're after. No. That is what I'm after to keep my head. What we are after is something more lucrative to con himself 
You were worried about keeping your head, friend, but we plan on leaving the city. Yeah, how would he? How would he take your head? I mean, if it's a the shadow bottle... puts his paw on Fell's shoulder. I'm not allowed alone out here, you know. There's just there's more than just my head. My family's out here as well. Related related to the Anubis that you mentioned before. The the Anubi? No, those are they're travelers of the sands. Uh, very uh, historic. Um... A -a anyways, no, no, no relation. Um, I do have kin here in the city. I do not wish to endanger them any further. And... With okay. this in good faith, they will be, shall we say, left alone. Uh, Felwolf has a, a a knowing look, um, but he keeps to himself. He won't say anything. All right, thing wrong, Samurai. So, once we get in there, I'll try and prioritize finding this vial, while you need to prioritize finding whatever this. These other Thing goods are conned. indeed. Yes. We should not stray far from each other, though. Absolutely not. Shall we get to it then? Yes. I can take lookout as well. If something's going wrong, then I can at least help you two out. Um, I would also be wondering: Would we be able to have uh, Delta come along with us, even though he's not currently PC off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't um, think a sorcerer would be the best choice for uh, for espionage, and it'd probably be better on the um, on the receiving end of either the distract uh, like our group, the, the distracting yeah. group, or the yeah. uh, that, that's exactly uh, infiltrators. Right. This will yeah. be left up to uh, the DM's call, as this yeah. is his campaign. Um, I would say with. The group that is gonna go to the warehouse would not have the sorcerer with them. That's not what I was um, mentioning at all. I was asking if you would be with the group that's going to aid in distraction. Um, there still is uh, potential for the distra uh, distraction group to join the warehouse from what I... I'm aware of the route that they want to take. Um, you did say somebody has to prepare for wherever it is that you guys want to um, hide, I guess. Um, you could also just leave the... have the sorcerer stay put at the temple and wait for your return. Um, I'll leave whatever rule you want to want to give. <laughs> I'll leave whatever rule you want to give to uh, McMaple to you guys. Um, I would say probably be best for him to be ready at uh, for us to either extract or to hide. And have him be the essentially third party. Maybe it'd be best to leave him with Felwolf. That's what I was thinking. Right. So, Stolen, you would be assisting me in infiltrating and setting fire to the warehouse, correct? Absolutely. I can back you up in any way you need. Setting right. fire to the warehouse? No, the lighthouse. Uh, the... <laughs> I was gonna say, so you said warehouse. I said warehouse, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> that escalated. That escalated. Uh. No, lighthouse, lighthouse. Alright, so who all is going to the warehouse? I believe just Ish. Ellen and in Shadow, correct? Yep. Correct. I will be on a building nearby if, if they're clear. 
Yes, I was actually about to ask. Um, like, would you be able to take up like some sort of sniper position? That's what I was thinking too. Awesome, Mister Spider Man. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll be over here. <laughs> hey, you're the you're the plan uh, B. Have the plan B. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, I've, I really. <laughs> Uh, oh great! Shit hits the fan. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just glad I could be I a contraceptive. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> so, we'll we'll go ahead and 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 push this into uh, a little into some action here. All right. Um, I need team distraction to roll for me a performance check. A performance check. Mm hmm. Now oh, here we go with the crit fails again. Let's roll. God, I only have a, I only have a fucking third. Oh yeah! Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, uh, right. okay. 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 It's actually. Really uh, cool. What are we rolling performance for? Uh, to see how fucking big flamboyant you can make uh, an, a distraction. Um. Well, we were basically. Uh, the, well, the original plan was to think? go into the lighthouse, mm -hmm. uh, scope out where the oil is, and then just fucking lather oil everywhere. Let me let me go ahead and and, and do this for you real quick. Oh, as as stolen and uh, Eloria approach the lighthouse, there is no one outside. Your passive perception will will grant you that much. As you check the door, it too is unlocked. As you enter in, you can hear uh, the soft conversations of individuals above you. You can see um, movement uh, between the boards above uh, and the light coming from the lighthouse itself, casting a shadow uh, down to the base of this tower. Uh, tower. As you look up, all of the internal structure of this lighthouse is made of wood. Though there are beams of stone that, that reach up from the ground clear up to the ceiling. The Discord and... Oh my god. <laughs> Give me one what? second. Okay, Guy Stolen. His computer is um, shitting the bed. Uh oh. I'm not another one. They're dropping like flies. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey! Another one bites the dust. Hey, 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 hey! Oh no! Stop letting me get you copyright. You're right. Yeah. Hey, I'm not that Don't, good. That, I'm not. That, it, might, it might be horrible, but somebody might know what you're trying to do. Watch it. Somebody will get you. <laughs> somebody. Somebody will. It's gonna be Sony. <laughs> Sony. <laughs> no, it's gonna be ABC. My computer crashed. I have to restart it. Okay. Universe Ooh. is concerned. Ooh. That sucks. Ooh. <laughs> crashed computer. God damn it! Aldrin's here. The Al Aldrin? Bruh. It's the boy. So How you doing, oh, hello, man? man. Thank you for the follow. There he finally goes. <laughs> there goes the blue boy. Hey, look, it's hey, malicious. Look, it's <laughs> James, you boy. Hello, James. Hey, hey. James. Why are you still awake? <laughs> I can't believe we're literally about to get this shit underway. Yeah. And then, and then, and then it's <laughs> mean, like. This computer's like, nope, I'm out. It's been real. Or we have um, been. You know, Delta's power. Just... Hour and 40 minutes almost. It was the earthquake, is what it was. It was the earthquake. Yeah, it was that earthquake. The earthquake. Yep, definitely. It was the earthquake. That's the problem. That one That one had to be like that, maybe that's a, a game. Two. No, that so, one actually. That one no, actually. That's accurate. TV, dude. Just commits a Sudoku. Yeah. <laughs> that's 100% accurate. She knows. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Mine does it too, like it did last Saturday. Mine committed Sudoku too. Mm -hmm. Well, I just mine just 
Blanked out. Did nothing. Well, I have one of the most garbage. I treat my computer properly, thank you very much, so I don't have to deal with that stuff. Uh, I treat mine properly, too. It's just that uh, my processor might need an extra boost for everything that's plugged into it. Uh, I'm going to spend this time do it. sharpening my nails. Don't worry, guys. I'll make sure the wall is safe. <laughs> Yes. I mean, you're not wall. far from the distraction team, so. Just make sure you keep talking to people, Fel. We'll, we'll, we'll get them, we'll get them this time. Someone next to me as well. Play team babysitter, I guess. You see what Luna <laughs> said? Get Shadow a scratching post. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is that is that technically racist? Is that a racist joke? Yeah. Yes, actually. Tabaxi isn't a real race. You know what? You know what? You bitch. But in that in, in that logic, neither are dwarves, so. <laughs> dwarves are just short humans. Yeah. They're, they're and it's technically. <laughs> technically, dwarves are real. And Hello? People just Hello. Hey, hey, welcome back. Okay. My, really uh, my people needed me. Uh, Here comes the boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm back. The, so, the someone, someone signaled the stolen signal, so mm. I was needed elsewhere. Um, yeah, you had to go back to Smurf Town. Yeah, Papa Smurf is in big time trouble. Mm. Uh, we we're we we're about to burn shit, right? What was going on? Yes. Yes. As you guys entered into the uh, bottom section of the lighthouse, you do hear individuals up above having a small conversation uh a couple of yelling and like a, a slam uh but as as you peer around this bottom section you do see containers full of oil kept at the lowest part of the building away from the fire though the area down here has some chairs and things there's no one down here it's as if they don't expect anyone to burn down a normally labeled ne necessary structure. Mm. Now, if I were evil, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we, Loria, so we're do in you... the basement. Hmm? So, do you? Want to get these people out first, or there's casualties, right? When it comes to fires, are the people in the tower Bishtar or just normal town guard? Or is there, there a difference? To look, uh, can, we can't see them through the floor, can we? No. no. Can, I, can we uh, listen to what they're saying for a second? Give yeah, me let's a perception just check. Them. Let's light this candle. Alrighty, let's perception. Nice. Yeah, both the same. Excellent. As you sit there and listen, you hear the sounds of what seems to be some sort of card game or gambling. Where one individual um yells at the other. Um, I hate getting these stupid shifts. You guys always steal my money. And the other one just kind of laughs and goes, Well, if you are this bad, maybe you should just, you know, ask on for different shifts. Maybe then you can spend time with your uh, hooker of a wife. Oof. Ouch. With a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I say we light this candle. Oh, it kind of gives a uh, like a devilish grin. About time. And I'm gonna carry one barrel, or at least with maybe one with some help. Barrel. One yeah, barrel yeah. up to up to below where the stairs start. Um. <laughs> Make sure you're burning the wood. <laughs> yeah, I'm burnt, though the wood part because the stairs are made of wood. The entire interior was made of wood. Arch said. Quick so technical we're... question: How big are the barrels? 
Um, these would probably be like your almost your fifty gallon drums. Okay, so I'm gonna have stolen. <laughs> me, I'm gonna have stolen. Help me carry up the. I don't even know if we can carry that. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna have to roll it. It's not in a basement. There are barrels lining the bottom, oh. of, like the floor of this lighthouse tower. There are lar like pitchers and flasks and things that they would carry up towards the top. There, these things get deposited and then rolled in and left there. Yeah, they're big barrels. Yeah, are there any? Like, they get resupplied uh, maybe like once every few this months. This is why I asked everybody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to so, pick that up. Are, are there... <laughs> is there one directly under the, the wooden part where the stairs meet, would begin? Um, no. Okay. I'd say we just start ladling it. Get some of those small bottles, maybe a bucket. Yeah, let's go ahead and start doing that. Just start dousing as quietly as quietly as possible, <laughs> mind you. There's that magic word. Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> as quiet. Ah, uh, here we go. No, I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I, uh, stealth, stealth, stealth. Where's there? You are. Twelve. Ooh. Fine. We're, fine. we're absolutely fine. We're absolutely Eight. fine. Let's go. Very good. All right. Um. Like a chef. Let me. Actually, no, I, I, I did find these. I mean, because between their, like, yelling and carrying on, I, don't, I think we're probably good. Oh, no, he's rolling perception for him. Quick, oh, Gloria, no. squeak like a mouse! <laughs> Housekeeping! <laughs> as, uh, as you're... Sinking uh, the bucket and these ladle uh, and a ladle into these large barrels of oil, you don't suspect they hear anything. Ooh, okay, you don't suspect, or do they? Okay, never mind. That's not really the answer to that question. Look, man, he, he gonna mess with you as much as he can. Of course, he you is. Just this gotta is get arch. used this to is it. Arch we're talking about. Uh, I'm gonna err on the side Here. of wanting to do this shit. So yeah, let's just continue yeah. getting let's, that oil lined let's up. Keep, let's keep lab ladling it, and uh, let's try and get some more towards like the kind of the entrance, and maybe see if we can get like a bucket, get ready to yeah. take it outside. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. Once we 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 don't necessarily need to lead it outside. All we need to do is have enough to lead from the barrels to the stairs, so I can just blow that bitch up, set it on fire from a range, and we can book it. That's a good idea. So that's I what we're gonna ideas, do. That would we'll be metagaming. What? Oh, you have an idea, but that would be metagaming. I thought you said you're metagaming. I was like, what? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Not me. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's that's what we are going to do, is just quietly get uh, enough oil to lead from the barrels to the stairways and then cover the, the stairways pretty liberally with it. Um, so we can get a nice path and trail. All right, make me um, uh, sleight of hand. See okay. how fast you can do this while being quiet. Both of us? Yeah. Yes. Let's fucking go! Let's go! There's the nice. good rolls. Let's see this. Watch, this is where we get fucked up. <laughs> These good rolls are where we get fucked up. Well, they got a 21 and a 19, so... Alright. You... You managed to... Uh, in somewhat of a uh, quick and pace get oil across the lower half uh, lower sections of the staircase and across the floor and covering the 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 barrels of oil all righty all the while not getting any on yourselves okay so with that out of the way, I think it's time for us to step outside and light this candle, as you said. Yep. So we're going to step our happy little asses outside. 
I'm gonna leave that door open and I am going to ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, let's see which spells are <laughs> okay I'm going to the burning hands the inside of the of the the lighthouse and set that bitch on fire so you're touching the oil no bur burning <laughs> hold on hold on let me uh is that no that's wrong there we go yeah it's a cone it's a it's a cone burning hands is a cone but it's a 15 foot cone okay oh my gosh that's huge yeah it's nice it's like a blowtorch Holy exactly God. And guess what? It's a level one spell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna burning like hands the inside of this. Mm -hmm. And set that bitch on fire. It's like a pyro Bob Ross. All right. As you cast, fire. as you cast the spell, uh, and you let let it loose into the interior of the lighthouse. The tower bottom floor becomes lit with blaze, uh, with a, a, an intense blaze. Smoke almost immediately starts billowing up the tower, and in seconds, as you're running from the door uh, doorway towards where Fell is, you can see bloom like large billows of smoke coming out of the top of the tower as uh, you just hear the soft, distant yells of individuals from the top of the tower. Gloria chuckles to herself. That ought to suffice, don't you think? I think so. That's definitely going to draw some attention soon. All right, let's circle back. And let's set up outside of the warehouse. Let's meet up with Fel. All right. I would do that. Well, that's the, we're already with Fel. We, we just rendezvoused with Fel. Yeah. Uh, so about this minute or so later, as you've as you've finally rendezvoused and you're moving towards uh, the warehouse to meet with the other part of your group, or to be that um, extra in case something goes wrong, um, you hear uh, bells and um, and horns go off as there are people beginning to. Uh, move towards the harbor and others running from the harbor. Uh, right. Who is outside of the warehouse currently? Uh, Elanan and Shadow. And I would be taking up a spot on a nearby house. I would probably say, uh, which side was the warehouse on? Is it over here or over here? Or right in the middle. I have no idea where it was. Um, no one caught any of these buildings could be a warehouse. So we didn't specifically see one with raised walls. Oh, you're talking that was about described the to us. Building. Yes. The fence building is in the in the center of this somewhat of an open compound. Open compound. Okay, so point there. Um, I would either be on a rooftop, probably over here or over here. Then, as you you, you hear these horns and these bells going off, uh, Wolf Mike, uh, as uh, as these begin to go off, a few moments later, you see uh, uh, one individual with this long kind of uh cloak uh and blackened wrap uh rushing out of the door of this fenced building behind him is a, a shorter individual in kind of dark uh blues and and purples as the, they too are right behind him with a couple of uh bestar and uh a few clothed individuals or a few decorated individuals that you've not seen before uh, they quickly get into what looks to be a um, carriage of some kind as uh, it moves through the city uh, heading northeast. Hmm. 
Concerning. Okay. Um. Well. Maybe not the con, though. At least. Please. I'd say we still stick to the plan. That didn't seem to trigger any immediate alarms. Agreed. Before right, you let's... two go, uh, Arya's going to reach over and tap your shoulder and give you the eyes of night. I mean, um, what does that do? What What does that do? So it gives you dark vision for 300 feet. Super dark vision. Basically. So that extended my already really good dark vision even further. Okay, cool. Basically. Badass. Lasts right. for an hour, but it should Super help you get mega ultra dark vision, Luna says. <laughs> Which one are you doing that for? Uh, for both of you. Okay. I, I can do it for up to three people, so I'll do it to both of you. Uh, chop my. I hate you. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. We move in. Um, obviously not front door. Uh, Ellen in, I'd say from the side of the back. What say yeah. you? Rogues do Agreed. it from behind. Um, and you left me in silence. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello? I, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. I was saying, yeah, I agree. Let's go. All right. Then let's... Right. Ooh, map change. I can't see shit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Need the map moved for the viewers. Alright. Okay. As you two drop moving. down from the roof in which you were stationed next towards uh next to this uh, fenced building. Um, it is it is eerily quiet here, as as in the distance you hear yeah uh, shouting and yelling and uh, and things like that and still like the occasional bell and uh, the horn. Uh, but over in this section after the uh, after the other carriage had left, the this area has become very quiet. Okay. Then let us go through the side entrance and get upon the vantage then. I can't move my character. There we go. Out there, I need to input stuff, I believe. <clears throat> Go ahead and slide in any of your stuff that you need. That says you... stealth. If you want. Okay, I remember the HP, but what did you want for blue and green? Uh, you don't worry about blue. Green is your AC. AC? Gotcha. Yep. Where the hell? Oh. Okay, there we go. The fence is about 12 feet tall. 12 feet tall? And at, the, um, at the top, it has these almost spade or tri-peaked tri spikes at the top of every bar. Okay. Tri-peaked. Okay. How high is the building next to us? Uh, the building that you were on was uh, about... A two-story building. As you, know, you slid down off the roof and 
uh, and came down into this kind of courtyard area. So if it's a two-story building, then we should be, it should be well over the 12 feet of this fence, However, right? that's one hell of a drop. Eh. Eh? It's I mean, if you're point. sure. I was just going to see if I couldn't acrobatics over this uh, fence and use uh, oh. cloak to... Um, those kind spikes of, would hurt. Yeah. Cover that. What? Hmm. There's that gate over there. We could just see if it's open. I doubt it would be, but I can pick the lock. Well, I'm assuming we wish... can... We can't see through the, the gate or fence. Oh, you can. Okay. There's nobody in there then? You do not see anybody. What you see is what you can see. Okay. Um. Uh. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but thieves' tools aren't just lock picks. Correct. Nope. There's more to it than that. There's a lot. What more to is it. in that? You know what? No, I will Google this myself. <laughs> um. Depending, are you just talking thieves' tools? Yes. Okay. So? I think there's like a small file in there. Yes. There's a small file. There's, um, what is it? A chisel? No, not a chisel. Uh... A set of small tools include small file, lock picks, mirror on a metal handle. Narrow bladed scissors and a pair of pliers. Narrow bladed scissors. Now those are something to cut wire with. Yes. Yeah, you would feed them essentially through like cracks of doors or things to cut any kind of string on the opposite side. That would be a, a, like a tension trap. Like as soon as the door oh. is open, it would pull something. Okay, so nothing that would clip through the gate itself. Okay. No, you'd have to have, oh, like, some sort of, like, pliers. heavy... Depending on the size of the lock. Yeah. Okay. Then that covers my question. Um, I figure we could uh, probably try the lock, if you wish. Since yeah. the walls seem a bad way in. Um, I will go over here and see if I can't figure out a way through the gate. And if you attempt to lockpick, I will aid. Okay. Are you... Are you checking the gate? Are you yes. looking at it? Are you touching it? What are you doing? I want to investigate to see if there's... what kind of lock it has on it. If it's a, a uh, bar on the other side. All right. Anything like that. Um, to I will clarify for, for traps. For, okay. To clarify for future implements of perception and investigation. Investigation is uh, thorough and with your hands. You are touching the object, and uh, perception is only your eye. Uh, so if you're wanting to use your hands to check to see if there's a latch on the opposite side of this gate, uh, I need an Just investigation check. Just seeing how this gate opens, if there's just, a lock on the just other side. Just sight. Of it. Yeah. Then I need perception. All right. Eleven. Mm. Um, just look at the gate. It there's no large chain around it or like heavy lock. Um, there does seem to be a a bar at the bottom that is a lift. Um, lock that sinks into the ground. Should be easy oh, enough to pull up. Okay. It's oh, on the inside. It's on the inside. It can be reached from the outside. Okay. Um, I will attempt to reach that from the outside and lift it up. 
as you go down and you lift it up, the handle is a bit warm. Um, and then you, you go ahead and lift it up and uh, you find that the gate is, uh, at least this side of the gate, is free to open. All right. I will carefully push it open slowly, inch by inch, um, making sure it doesn't squeak. Okay. Um, there is the occasional uh, squeak, just due to sand being in hinges and things. It's, it's not going to be able to be helped. Um, though it doesn't really echo or clash against anything. Uh, it, it's it's soft enough and not something that's uh, loud or eerie in any regard. Alright. We're through the gate. Okay. I will leave it uh, open enough that it uh, won't lock back in place, but closed enough that you can't tell just as a passing glance. Okay. All right. Now this general area is supposedly this warehouse. Okay. Um. As we enter, I'm looking for a door. Do I see any immediately? Um. Yes. Uh. You see a door here door there um i will get a little closer in looking for a sign on the door do you need a specific role um perception perception oops That rolled funny. Okay. Um, 18. Um, you do. Um, very, uh, softly at the bottom of the, one of the stone slabs, you could see what looks to be, um, a sword with, um, what looks to be like a water drop let off the end of it. Okay. Then I know what I'm looking for, then. It is here. I will whisper to... Hand signal. El El oh. Sign to Helen. <laughs> Ellen and... Helen, what the fuck? Helena. <laughs> I Helena? hand signal to Ellen. Helen. Or Eli. Okay. Um, it's cute that I'm using it for everyone. <laughs> this particular Man. door... Um, actually, no, before I move. This building. How many stories? The building that you're in front of? Yes. Uh, two. One, two. This one? This one? Um, yes, this one coded in darkness. The one to your right, <laughs> technically more than two. Okay. Become the warrior of darkness. Um, do I see any windows that don't particularly have glass, or are they all glass? All on this first floor seem to be glass, and on the second floor, the one uh, ones you can see on this side, glass. And they seem like solid glass, nothing that could be moved. No, no pained glass, like, no, like, sectioned glass. These are solid glass. Snobs course mm. all right then uh let's say let's get this door open um i will check the door and see if it's locked it says snobs don't open windows facts <laughs> All right, um, go ahead. Uh, if you're checking to see it's locked, I'm going to either need a perception or an investigation. Investigation. 
My perception's much better than my investigation, but... Um... It would probably be locked from the inside. Probably. Alright, I'll do the same roll he did then. I'll do investigation on... Wait, was it investigation? No, it was perception, right? For the yeah. lock? Well, hmm. I pers I was looking at the door to s or gate to see how it was locked. This oh, one okay. is an inside or a building door, so it's a little bit harder. Okay. It's probably locked from the inside. Then I guess investigation. And stealth always makes my freaking like butterflies in my stomach. I hate. I hate as, stealth. It's too intense. As you place your hands against the door, and you you get a feeling for uh, the latch and the lock. It does appear to be locked. Okay. If you wish to pick it, I need you to uh, use your lock picking tools. Right. Um, I'm actually really proficient with these. How are you, Ellen? I signed. Proficient. It's a rogue killer lock. <sighs> I mentioned for you to go ahead with it. Okay. Am I rolling with advantage? Or are you helping me? I will aid. Okay. DM I like how you okay? have no choice. <laughs> Am I rolling with advantage or are you helping me? <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, explain to me how you would aid him. Um, I would look at it, at it and, um, attempt to motion to him based off of my expertise, how this lock would, uh, how you would attempt to pick it. No, you're doing it wrong. This is how you do it. Okay, so, so bat, backseat roguing. Got it. Yes. All right, go ahead and roll with advantage. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was thinking more of, like, the whole two detectives breaking into a door, one holding the fucking actual pick and the other holding the device. I almost, no. almost crit on that. You only need two hands. You don't need three mm. or four. There's no way of making a lock picking yeah. better with four hands. I, I know. But, Even like, I've seen two people lock pick the uh, door before. Yeah, that doesn't but, uh, work, actually, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, Twenty-eight. Actual. I lock. swear to God, if that doesn't work, as as you press the lock pick in, and uh, you find the tumblers as you as you turn uh, the lock, it catches for a second. As you uh, rack the lock pick back and forth. You, you you hear a, a snap as it goes through and the door opens. An unlocking snap or a I just broke my pick snap. An unlocking snap. An unlocking snap. The door opens. The snap. door open. <laughs> okay, I will then use my mirror that I've only discovered recently. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh my god. Oh no. You you use you use this mirror and you stare into uh, you look into the room trying to see off the reflection of this mirror. You see a uh, the floor is covered in this large uh, purple rug, and there are portraits filling this area. Though you see immediately to the right of this door, another door, and no other way through this room. It's a duel within a duel. I hate this so hard. <laughs> can we just silently shatter glass? Like, can we just do... Sh uh, nope. Okay. Um, silently mm. shatter... <laughs> Stealthily breaks glass. I sign there's another door. How do you do this sign? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I look at the door. I point. I put one finger up. And then a second. 
There you go. And I'll point inside the room. There you go. Be glad, be glad your Our counterpart player. is not what a barbarian. Or I would make him ch uh, do an intelligence check to see if he understood anything. <laughs> Actually, Bro, no, man, man, shits, and giggles, time. shits and giggles. No, Ellen Ed, uh, I, I need a, I need an intelligence check. Ah! Oh, damn it. Why would you do this to me? This is dumb. They were signing to her, each other just I, I, fine. I would use thieves' hands if we're gonna do this shit. I mean, just, realistically, this will establish the fact that you both can understand each other. That's okay. That's kind of I mean, what I want to do here. I was just so, like letting it happen because it's like, oh, okay. What fucking gestures? <laughs> uh, like, how do you sign two doors in this place? Like, okay, yeah. establish this. All right, now you guys can understand each other from signing at each other. Neither one of you have sign language as a proficiency. I will yeah. specify this as using thieves can't, since I am only talking to another thief. I am thieves using thieves can't. can't. Is I will a sign. Spoken language though. Is it a? Th it is. Yeah. It's it written is, it's it's spoken. spoken or using your There's hands. A potato in the yeah. skillet. But you can yeah, use your hands can, too. You can do it in letters, in like written word, but you can't. Um, sign language is kind of different. Okay. Then I'll um, however, I would that. say I'm ex Navy, so I would understand some basic signs. Okay. Just military ones that I probably would have no idea what you're you saying. You have no yeah. idea what the fuck sailing is like. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Um, you can freely move into the space to your left. And you find another tool. Can I? Oh, I Open hate it. <laughs> I hate you so hard. What the f <laughs> oh, come come on, dude. Dude. Uh, for those of you guys that aren't in here go ahead and you can watch the stream that'd be the best way to see what that's they're what doing I'm yeah. yeah that's what i'm yeah and you find another door what the and fuck I, is this and I, I love I the fact know. that i actually was anyway. able to leave a crack in the door frame for you so you could peer through the door <laughs> so stupid. This is so stupid. Uh, the fact that I only see this room and literally nothing else pisses me <laughs> off. I get six squares of vision. That's it. Uh, not even. That's it. Like Round not even three. six. Five. More like yeah, more like four. But all right. Uh, what are you? What are you doing now? I'm checking the door for traps because I'm fucking over your shit. Roll uh, me, uh, okay. roll me an investigation. Okay. Wait, that's not advantage. Take the first I number. Take, Sorry. I take the first. It does not appear to be trapped. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it locked? With your investigation, make you a performance check. Not for my perception. <laughs> you would be able to tell that the door is locked. God, dude. It's maybe like somebody put two locked doors here so people don't get in. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who would do that? This must be the mud room where they get all their fucking dirty boots off. True. I don't know. Purple? Bunch of bastards. That, that's a rich people color, man. Either that or they hate the color purple. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but would they awesome. really spend that much money on the color purple for their They wouldn't room? have to if they yes. stole it off of somebody's yeah. ship. Oh, yeah, that is true. That's the only mm -hmm. logical explanation would be... That I mean, they, yeah, they, the money room. they spend it so that way the poor people don't get money. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, well, it, does, it, it does appear locked, and it doesn't appear trapped. What are you going to do? Well, am I in here alone? Uh, currently, it does appear to be that you're in here alone. Oh, of course. Hey, this is technically your job. Your partner, as you can see your partner standing just outside the I door. I actually can't. Well, I will state it to you. You can see your partner standing on the outside of the door. Open the door to find another door. 
right, I will. It's I will, door. It's another door. <laughs> I will use my mirror to see if I can see underneath this door. Is there enough of a gap? There's enough of a gap to slide your mirror underneath the door. All right. That doesn't help that much. What do I see? You see the ceiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't angle the mirror. I told you it's not going to help that much. Wait, 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 wait. No, if you look at a mirror... I'm sorry, this is meta, isn't it? No. He, no. As I said, there's Excellent. enough space to slide this mirror underneath the door. As he's got his head to the floor and he's angling the mirror, it's on a solid arm. He can't angle it forward or to the side because it's pushed against the floor. It's, it's not modern it's day. It's flat. Why not just yeah, look yeah. under the... Why not... No, no, no. I'm thinking I'm not shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, up. <laughs> Go find some more wood. <laughs> he doesn't know what wood is. <laughs> oh my God. I so will happy. go and I will listen on the other side of the door to see... Or to hear... I'm listening. All right, I will. I will filter through the all the bad choice of words in that sentence and understand that instead of on the other side of the door, you want to listen from this side to the other side. So, all right, give me a perception check. I was about to ask if you were going through the door. I'm having a seizure. <laughs> Um, with 17, uh, you, you can hear what sounds like a soft hum, it's like a, a tonal hum. Um, a tonal hum. Sorry, I'm slightly um, dumb. Think, what do you mean by tonal hum? Um, you know what a pitchfork is. Like yes. not like, uh, not not a not an actual like farming equipment. The 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 pitchfork or like a uh, tuning fork. Uh, yeah, like tuning fork or whatever. There, some have certain notes that you when you mm -hmm. strike them, they they're that specific note. It's something so like, like that. Like uh, okay. like yeah, like a a slight. Uh, non like not somebody humming but like okay. a hum from a, and a clear constant hum not machine not somebody singing just like this constant low hum that's odd that's odd as hell and it does it sound close or further in the room it sounds like it's in the room Though, you don't know the size of the room, so you can't tell if this object is further or closer to where you are. Okay, then I'm going to attempt to pick the lock. Alright. I will... move in and aid him. Same way as before. Is this okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, toggling advantage. Damn. There we go. <laughs> As you press the lock pick in, Terrified. it it turns cleanly. You may oh. step through the space of the door. He opened the door to see another door. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Go oh. do the whammy. I. Okay. So, Before, um, uh, uh, Elenan, are you stepping into this room too? Uh, I will as soon as he moves out I, of the way. I did. Uh, he did. Okay. He did. I did. I moved one space out of the way. All right. As you both step into this room, um, though it is lit with very low light, with your dark vision able to clear it for you, um, you can see the details of what looks to be um, strange mo uh, motifs and artwork. Uh, large statues of 
um, like ancient figures, uh, a large kind of uh, stone idol shaped like a, a human's face uh, adorned with gold filigree carpets that, that look almost um, an infernal or um, devilish in nature. And <laughs> in the very center of this entire room, you can see this large spire of obsidian glass. And as you step closer to this, this is where that humming is coming from. Along the walls line books and uh, bookshelves with books, uh, artwork, um, different kinds of uh, pelts lay across the furniture in this room. Oh, man. Now, I'm pretty versed in a few, uh, shall we say, fantasy novels. And if this is the same obsidian I'm thinking of, I'm not going to be happy. Uh this head that, that makes oh, me curious. Mm. All right. You might want to re uh, reset that map. There's a lot more up towards where the viewers can't see. Isn't that your job, Arch? Nope. Luna. It's Luna. You guys are watching. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um. Thanks, boss. <laughs> I will take a further inspection over here, looking for doors and keeping to see uh, what else I can see in here. I do remember this room over here had some sort of statue in it, as I could see through the glass. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's not really of interest. However, I do believe this is a door. And I yes. do believe there is an area over here. Also, I can't see past this, so I might assume that that's a door. I'm not sure. Yes, there is a door here on the bottom left of your vision. A door here in the uppermost part. On the top right, you can also see a door. Okay. Well, I have a sneaky suspicion that Shadow's final boss will be a door. <laughs> oh, it's all oh, coming no. back to me now. Yeah. <laughs> bosses. Hey, you remember that time you almost yeah. killed a character of mine with a door? Yeah, I remember. I, remember. I can sense the ravenous hate flowing towards your character. You know what? Wait, are you talking about the one where you were like the big like metal yeah. turtle Russian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> this is his revenge. Uh, almost yeah. died before getting to hell in Baldur's Gate. Almost died to a door. Oh, well, that's fucking amazing. All right, I'm gonna. Mm. The Rad Russians' Revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a movie title. Give yeah. right. Yeah. Sounds like a terrible oh, B here. movie title. All right. It's you close the thing. door. Yeah, uh, Ellen, awesome. what are you? What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna move plan? with him. All right. Okay. As you as you pass closer to our, uh, closer to this uh, obsidian, that humming does get louder not like decibel louder but as you approach it this is the origin of that noise more than likely and as you walk away from it it does seem to fade uh, on this side of it it's um uh almost very rigid there's no solid face um almost like a like a landslide of just obsidian glass okay uh as you approach the door um, what are you wanting to do? I'm going to use my ears to listen to what could be on the other side. All right, so are you putting your, your ear against the, uh, the door? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead and roll me perception. Some dickhead slams against it. <laughs> Door opens as you. Oh! Oh yeah! Slams against it. <laughs> no. Oh my God! As as you press your your ear against this wooden door, uh, you get a sudden sharp pain in your ear, as you now have a splinter inside your ear. Oof. That could have been much worse. 
You can certainly try again if you want. Yeah, go for I'll the other this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I take a step here. aside and I take care of my splinter, motioning to the door <laughs> of irritation. <laughs> Flip it off. <laughs> Do an intimidation. Moral support. <laughs> Intimidate the door Moral with support. advantage. <laughs> All right. Oh, fucking god. Okay. Um, the shit. Door successfully. For shits and giggles, give me a uh, a medicine check to remove the splinter from your ear. Oh, <laughs> it's a splinter. Crit fail. It's a splinter. Give him some slack. No yeah. success. Crit no, fail. this is this Another is revenge fail. for the door. He he crit wants me to suffer. His oh. Oh yes. As, no. as you, Better than a fucking crit fail. Oh as you attempt God. to get it out, you begin to feel like you, you're pushing it in. As you stop, you pull out the small nose pliers, and you pull it out. <laughs> that end, he, for a few minutes, he's standing there. What are you, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to check around this corner over here. And see what's going on over this way. Like, is there anything? I bet that humming's or real voice this door right there, right here. Hey, right, what are you trying to do? I'm. I just want to come over here and see what's exactly is over here. A little more detail. Okay. Uh, there is a, another door there, and okay. uh, you can see into that section there, on the top left, a large statue of a snake coiled up. Okay. And many different chests uh, around it. Those chests right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Touch everything. I will move. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move back to here, and I'm going to motion. Um, kind of like a... Hmm, how would I motion for a chest? Now you have my attention. Yeah, I'm gonna point over in the direction and say there's chess. Um, not say, but like motion a box with a opening lid. Okay. Make um, me an intelligence check. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I'm kidding. I All right, to say, this is not a good skill. You communicate that there is some sort of container in that direction. Um, how many did I see over there? Four? You saw four. Okay. Then I'll also motion four to him, so that way he understands that there's multiple of them. Alright. Okay. You, about at this point, after the the quiet moving around the uh, room from Illinan, you, you got you the glitter out of your ear. Do you wish to attempt to um, press against this door. I'm just gonna check the door, see if it's locked. Alright. Uh, are you going to attempt to investigate, or just look? Mm, it would probably be better to just look than to try the door. Because I don't think you can do that silently. As you stand there, facing the door, the door looks shut. <laughs> ah! I'm looking into the lock hole to see if it's locked. Bruh. Right in your lock hole. All right. Uh, as you look through the keyhole, you see through the keyhole, and in there is uh, this what looks to be something made of stone and then two stone figures. All right, well, I'm just going to get this off of my screen because there. Okay. Stone figures in there. I will continue towards where he said these chests were over here. Correct? Now, where are they? 
Um, I'll point over towards where the snake is. So you can see over here. Oh, okay. Uh, are there windows in this room? Looks like the no. window down there. You see only the window that's the southern wall. I see a window straight down from me. Uh, okay. Then let's, uh... You do see a door there. Hmm. All right. Um, before I go over there, I will peek through this keyhole. Do you want another perception? Yep. Jeez. As you as you crouch down and you stare through this keyhole, um, you see a room filled with boxes, barrels, pelts. Like the, a storage room of many different items. Okay, I'll make a note to uh, go back to that one then, and I'll meet up with him over here. Oh God, there's six of them. <laughs> I don't fucking like this. And only one of them's not trapped. <laughs> one, of them is tra one of them is trapped and one is a mimic <laughs> I was about to say three of them are normal two of them are mimics and one is bomb bomb <laughs> nuclear destruction oh and they're all empty uh, it's Russian roulette with uh, like six rounds oh the Joe, snake turns and blows fire the whole time yeah, yeah, we're not playing your campaign. We're playing <laughs> Arch's campaign. And if Nobody he gets me with an illusion, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Nobody likes my illusions, man. Nobody Well, I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> I will walk close to this wall over here, and I will inspect the floor around this general area for traps all right give Trigger me plates give me investigation ha! Ooh. Ooh. Ha! As, as you as you scour through the floor uh, around the floor, you don't, you don't see any traps. Okay. You're all going I to die. I will look to Ellen and I'll gesture to the two up here as I will look at these ones right here. Um, all right. I am going to move up here and I'm going to look and see if I can't find any traps. On okay. The... Yeah. Give me an investigation. Investigation? I was looking. All right. Give me perception. Nineteen. Nineteen. You don't see any traps in this room. All right. In the room? <laughs> in the area in which you looked, which okay. was that area up there, you don't see any traps. All right. I'm going to... I hate his tone of voice. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. <laughs> What's wrong, Smith? I'm going to investigate the first uh, chest right here. Um, see if it's locked, and also if I can't find any other traps um, around it. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> Rogue's luck, dude. Uh, Rogue's luck. What damn is it. this? As, as you place your hands upon... Um, 
the the lock and the the key a hole you, as you kind of look at it it doesn't doesn't seem like anything other than a normal lock okay i'm guessing it is locked then yeah okay there is a there is a lock on it um i'm gonna try and pick the lock okay while he's doing that i will Oof. attempt the same 20. over here are you attempting to pick the the lock of that chest um i'm gonna do the same rolls he did i'm gonna check the outside of it with investigation and then uh then attempt to pick it if there's nothing fucky with it okay The outside of this chest does not appear to be trapped. The outside isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's try this. Can I have the first spell of lock picking here? No, maybe. Who knows? All right, we'll do this in order. But imagine these happening about the same time. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> Alan, yes. Do you? As you lift up the chest in front of you, you are hit with this sudden breeze of cold air. Okay. Um... I need you to do nothing. Because as you look into this chest, it's a giant ice box. Okay. <laughs> Take the ice box! <laughs> Take the ice box! I don't know. Ice is worth a lot box. of money. Is it right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ice, let's go. Shadow. Yes. Oh, at the same time, uh, you lift up the lid to this chest. As you begin to smell something sweet. As long as he's not smelling burnt toast. <laughs> oh no <laughs> inside this chest is this oddly shaped fruit while sitting next to it is this jar is it a jar do it i'm gonna chop that i'm gonna chop that do you do you grab this jar mm. uh, a Peer into its contents. It's a soul. Mm -hmm. I would obviously look inside the chest and be curious about the jar. Um, can I see it from not touching it? It can is with my okay eyes, not my hands. hands. Fuck. Two chip. Mm. Two chip. I don't know if I trust that. Two chip. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll a D100 because uh, Twilight is torn. <laughs> mm. That's Two not good. Two yeah, he's gonna look at it with his hands. As you, as you pick up the jar and you remove the lid. I didn't say I removed the lid! You, I asked if you were gonna look at his <laughs> content. <laughs> And you remove the lid yeah. <laughs> inside of this jar. Uh, you can see what looks to be this almost um, jelly-like substance. You found lube? Oh my god. <laughs> this, this substance you see has what looks to be <laughs> Uh, almost these pink petals and uh, uh, pieces of something that you can only con uh, compare to as sand. Uh, or salt, maybe? Like a clear crystal? What? Is it a jam? How? 
or God. something? A dessert? Take it both. <laughs> Take it both. Let's go. How big is this jar? Are we talking <laughs> about jar. like an urn? Are we talking about like a jam preserving jar? What are we talking here? You would say probably roughly around the size of like the the bottom of it. It's it's not like the solid cylinder. It's it's got kind of like this pear shape to it. The bottom about the size of uh, you could say like a, a cantaloupe. Well, the top, like the um, the neck, probably <laughs> like an apple. I just want to chime in real quick. Mike's in the chat. He came back at the wrong moment. Yeah. <laughs> my my um, man. Hmm. So being as I am this kind of person with this as a flaw, uh, that's mine now. <laughs> okay. This yeah. belongs to me. So, um... While it has acquired lube. <sighs> go, ahead, go ahead and put in your inventory. Um, uh, uh, go ahead and put in your inventory. Pink jelly-like substance jar. A filled jar. Pink jelly jar. Uh, there are weight to this. Uh, yes, it's about, it's about four pounds. Damn. Right. Big jar. Holy, holy wow. <laughs> no, put in parentheses yeah. lube. We're buying in bulk. Um, what is this <laughs> fruit? What is this what? What is this fruit? Uh, give me a nature check. Oh, god damn it. That's full. That's really full. Oh no, Luna says orgy time. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fruit. Get out of your orgy, princess. Um, it's time to get it, in the closet, Raz. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come in the closet. No. <laughs> uh, ten. Yeah, it, it, it appears like some sort of some kind of fruit. It's it's uh has these kind of like pinkish hues. However, in areas it's red. Um, it has like this kind of leafy, almost spiked top to it that's green. Uh, though the entire thing seems very odd, yet at the same time familiar. Does it seem kind of, uh, reminiscent of this other substance in the jar? Does it seem like... The pink area does seem to have kind of this same tint of color, but there, there is a different kind of shade to them. It's a lube okay. plant. Cool. I'll take that too. And then I'll move on to the uh, next chest. I'm guessing the ice box is literally just ice. Yeah, it's it's a box full of ice. Okay. Cool. I'll do the same on my side. All right. Same rolls? Uh, same rolls. Asian. <laughs> Are you keeping the ice box? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. god. I'm gonna fail my lock picking right here. The shit's gonna snap. These chests do the not appear to be trapped. These traps do not appear to be trapped. All right. Is that what you 22. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Down to a 13. Ooh. Ooh. That's on par with my last one. I can't do that. Your chest does not open. However, uh, Shadow, as you open up your chest, uh, inside, uh, inside here, you can see what appears to be this kind of, um, heavy headdress of gold, um, jade, and kind of, um, these teals in color that kind of, uh, wrap around in this chest. And next to it sits this almost um, uh, coiled snake skin. So a headdress with like a coiled snake skin. That looks cool. You said heavy, right? Yeah, it appears to be made out of solid gold and like give me give me a history <laughs> check as you're staring God, at this. I'm gonna have to roll a D100 first off. 
I don't know if that's high enough, though. Okay, and you said a history? Okay. Oh my god, Mike, no, don't give him ideas. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it. What, what is Mike saying? Oh god. We're talking Acme products and the Wiley Coyote shenanigans. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. This headdress reminds you of something you saw in this room. Uh, in the main area. Wait a goddamn minute. The snakes thing? The snake thing? Oh. No. The headdress. I think I'm putting a piece of the puzzle together. Uh, I need to do one more roll. I need to check if this chest has a trap on the inside. Pressure plate, to be specific. Critical fail, let's go! No. Oh, thank god. <laughs> as you- as you're looking at the bottom of this chest, there's no pressure plate at the bottom of this chest. However, underneath this headdress, you can see lines of faint chalk. HA! Got him! I didn't fucking touch it! <laughs> Uh, damn it. So that could be magical. <sighs> or... Um, I don't mm. know, Arcana. Would I even consider that? Roll me an Arcana option. check. <laughs> Roll an Arcana <laughs> check. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, is that high enough for him? <laughs> you, you would think... You, you begin to kind of remember some of the lessons taught to you by uh, your instructor yes the out the soft chalk outline is a perfect circle <laughs> this is this is, in, this is intention something's a bit fucky oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> fucky bro in the meantime can i roll another um yeah go ahead and roll another lock pick each lockpick, uh, I'll state from this point, each lockpick has three fails. Um, or two, uh, natural, nat ones, before they break. Uh, I hate still! It I'm does not open. Alright. It's at number yeah. three, let's go! That, that was, that was the second fail with this pick. Yep. I'm assuming there's probably only like two or three in the, each set of Steve's tools. Yeah, I, I do the three for three. And swing. As you place the lock pick in. Oh my fucking god. And you, uh, and you catch the tumblers. You turn the lock as you hear this. As it turns in place, and the the lock pops open, and the whole <laughs> building explodes. You needed that was fifteen. That walk up. I literally went 13, 14, 15. Yeah, you oh needed fifteen. God. All right, I'll open this up. See what uh, what's inside this one. As you open it up, inside uh, inside this chest is this large beetle. All made of almost entirely crystalline or some sort of gem. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Um. I'm gonna look around the chest. See if I can't figure anything out. See what this is. What kind of material it is? Give me. Um. This would be either a survival or an intelligence check. Um, I'll go with survival. 22. Ooh. As you look at this, this, I think, uh, do believe it's, it's still, um, Uh, 
think it's still... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this beetle is made entirely of jade. Ooh. Oh, nice. A jade statue? Oh. Yay, yeah, yo! Jade beetle, yo. This beetle is about the size of your torso. <gasps> oh my Damn, son. Oh my Jesus. god. So this Tug. is too big for me to Not remove heavy. it. And, like, no, I just you, put it in your you pack. can remove Legend it. Of Zelda style. The it's entire so bottom of this chest is laden with like feathers and uh, furs. Um, but you can remove it. You can attempt to remove this if you so wish. I will mm -hmm. leave it there for now. But this. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I may return um, to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking keep note of that. That's yeah, write uh, that shit down. That's important, but uh, I'm not touching it. I don't know how to fucking disable that. Okay. That's a no-no. I'm going to at this point. I'm gonna keep watch just to make sure nobody comes around behind us. Be good to do. All right. Your lock picking is better than mine, so. <sighs> by a little bit <laughs> although right. my investigation is better than yours definitely definitely uh, the chest appears to be trapped hey all right now what kind of trap are we talking about are we talking about like a wire are we talking about a plate are we talking about a fucking rogue killing lock? Ah! Is it electrified? Uh, oh god, please. Does it shock you when you talk? Uh, you the lock it? itself. <laughs> unlike unlike the other chest, the lock itself is mounted to the chest. It's not a free hanging mm. lock. Mmm. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that either. So from your experience mm. as a rogue. There could either be some sort of explosive, a spray, um, a magical alarm, or something built into the interior of this chest that would respond to being opened and unlocked. Tampered. Oh, boy. Now, I was probably told to just ignore these sort of things, is that correct? And just not pick these? You could. But you are here looking for an item, aren't you? Yes, I am looking for an item, but this seems to be something important. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a special chest. <laughs> Check the one next to it. See if they're both. <sighs> All right, I'll give a glance over to the one next to it. The Give me a perception you or investigation. Perception. That chest also has a mounted lock. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, mm -hmm. of course they're both mounted. Shit. One's um, real, the other's fake. Hmm. What's your favorite color? I'll look at uh, Ellen and with a uh, the sour grimace on my face. Okay. And shake my head. All right. Um, I'll point him towards the beetle and see if he knows what it is. Just because at this point we haven't we this we're not one? talking. The the one that is right here has okay. uh. I'll point to you to it. Um, with the lid still open, so you can just look in and see. Uh, history, correct? Yep. <sighs> oh, no. Um, uh, he would shake his head, both hands in the air, like, I don't know. You don't have, you don't know any significance of the, of what this is, um, but, I mean, somebody must, must have had a good reason to make, uh, fucking almost man-sized gem bug. At least halfling-sized. Yeah. 
<laughs> Terrify the halflings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Child size gem beetle. Oh god. Probably worth um, the fortune. Oh, definitely. We'll come back here another time. <laughs> I will uh, essentially point over to this chest, not touching it for very obvious reasons, and I will point to the perfect circle down below. Okay. Um, I'll come over and check that out. What do you need for me? Um. Oh. See what I know about it, or I think if I know how to deal with it, either an arcana or I I'm at a loss. DM, uh, I would uh, you rolled an arcana to figure out if I, it was magical I, in nature. I did, and I'm pretty sure it's it's warded in some sort of way because perfect circles are not naturally occurring, not like this. All right, and about this time, Arya, from your vantage point, you would see Fell, Stolen, uh, uh, Loria, beginning to return to this area, uh, like, towards sort of a backup area or position nearby. Okay. Make for me a... Um, Perception check. As you're looking around, you you take a moment and you glance over to kind of the left at, uh, you know, uh, at an opposing building from uh, the thoroughfare in this area. And over there, you can see a figure. Though this isn't a figure you've seen around. The This figure is staring at the building that your um, allies had entered. They... They are dressed in... What looks to be these kind of silvers uh, and kind of dark purpled armor with this kind of heavy black veil. On their back is this large bow and quiver, though they're just leaning up against the edge of this roof, staring at the compound your friends entered. And as you're as you in this slight moment that you're staring at them, they turn back, they turn to your direction and they give a wink as they just look back over. Interesting. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Someone has an admirer. I'm just down below playing Rock, Scissors, Papers with McMaple at this point, so. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were gonna play Rock, Scissors, Paper with the, uh, Echo clone again. Um. Uh, mm. No, he was playing with himself, remember? Yeah. Um. Arya, roll me a D100. God. No pressure. Damn! Mm. Whoa. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> you have this... As your vision leaves this individual and moves towards the compound, you have this sudden urge that something in there you need. Uh-oh. I mean, I'm fast. What do you do? Is it different from normal? This normal urges he means. It's 
It has the same sense of these kinds of normal urges, but something more. Like, not entirely something calling to you, but like, an answer is inside that building. But we'll leave you there for now. Okay. Shadow and uh, Elanan. You have this, what appears to be an arcane um, glyph. Your rune guy. glyph drawing. Um, underneath yeah. this kind of, for visual appearances, pharaoh-esque headdress. Hmm. So what would I, what would you want from me, like a uh, Arcana check or uh, something like that to f to see if I knew what it was? I'm gonna I'm gonna humor myself real quick. I'm gonna check back over here and look at these statues. Does it look like it would go to one of them? Uh, as um, Ellen, and if you want to try to figure out what it is, go ahead and roll me an arcana. Um, Shadow, as you step back into that area, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, you just kind of stand there as Shadow walks away, like, I don't know, fuck, what, whatever, I'm not this a is. caster, <laughs> but magic is unknown to me. Shadow, as you walk closer towards this large obsidian uh, piece, on this side is a completely polished and smooth wall of just glass. Like, almost something you could see a reflection in. <sighs> on on the statues to your, uh, to your now right, as you're staring at them, the one on the left, the large statue has a headdress and almost and this canine like face resembling that of an anubai and on the left that one is not wearing a headdress in the very center you see this um for visual a large kind of sarcophagus standing on end And y'all said we couldn't have a fucking sorcerer with us. God damn it. I never said yeah, that. Well, see, here's the thing about sorcerers. They're not learned like wizards are. No. Just throwing that out there. I know. I've played I mean, many we are sorcerers. right outside. You could just walk out and say, wave one of us down. There is also a window that you have somebody watching. Where are actually? That's a good question, Arch. Where exactly are we? The the group that's outside. The group that's outside is essentially a, a few buildings away, where they can see where um, Aria is on top of the building. However, you cannot see the entrance of the compound that your friends entered. So you you're you're using Aria as that middle ground. Where did you go? Holy shit! <laughs> So, uh, if I'm correct, Arya's on the building that we were on, right? Which is where my character is right now. Essentially, like, over there. Um, to, um, to a degree. There are a couple buildings away. Okay. So you they, could they wave to Arya. And Arya could wave down to myself and the sorcerer. I, mean, I still have dark vision of 300 feet right now. I could see you. Yeah. And then I could run the sorcerer over relatively quickly with my speed boost. And we could try to figure it out. All right, at this point, you've noticed that there's there's been no movement in this area. Wolf Mike. Are you guys going to wave Arya down? Yeah, I'll um come and wave Arya down. 
Do I, oh. Can I do it through the window, or do I need to actually go to the... You um... can do it through the window. They can see the entire front area, or front section. There's no curtain on that window. So okay. there's no... There's been no, like, guards or anything? No patrols? You haven't seen anything other than that individual on the opposite side from you. The motherfucker's sniping people. He's <laughs> gonna. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's Chris, Chris Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, motherfucker's sniping people. <laughs> it's fantasy looks... Chris Kyle. Do you look back <laughs> over at them to see if they're doing anything? Yeah. They're not there. It's Black Wolf! It's Black Wolf! <gasps> <laughs> What do you do? Uh, I can see Ellen waving to me now. Mm hmm. I'm going to climb down the building. I'm going to meet up with the rest. Okay. I don't awesome. see any guards. There's no movement. I think we sh are good to go inside. Well, if we're gonna go in, we need to do it quickly. Elenin is waving to us, so we should go now. So I'm gonna keep my uh, fleeting wind stance on as I, I uh, speed speed. Uh... Stolen, do you want to stay outside just in case, or do you want to go in? Uh, yeah, I'll stay outside and I'll keep uh, just outside watch. Okay. I'll be able to speed up three of us. That's why I'm asking. So okay. I'm gonna speed I'll... the three of us up, and we're gonna go inside. Stolen's gonna keep watch. Yep. I'm going to peek through this door while this is going on. I'm going to look through the uh, lock. As you look in... Dab my eye out. Yeah, as you look in through that lock, you see mainly a wall, a bookshelf shelf to your left, and a, um, some furniture and a carpet. Kind of like an office, maybe? Maybe. Miniature library? Maybe. The audience Study. cannot see. Uh, oh, that's a travesty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring. Um. All right, there you go. There you go, guys. Go. Yeah. I will go ahead and... Wait, so where did we walk in from? The gate. There's a gate down here, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, so this yeah, cobblestone road isn't, like, that. inside the estate. It's on the outside. The gate is where the inside is. Yeah. Okay. Um, who wants to be able to move around uh, McMaple? I mean, I can do it for now. I've played Sorcerer before. Okay. Yeah, my best choice. I'll lead everybody oh, inside real quickly. Be better at running multiple people. What's wrong? There we go. That's oh, true. Man. I usually run like three people a session, so. Mm -hmm. So it's they're here. Okay. Boom. All right. Um, I still don't have access. Oh no! Give me a second. Okay. Check now. Yep, got it. Okay. Don't dig too deep. I won't. I won't even open up his character sheet. Okay. Where am I going? This this building over here. Yep. Yeah. Inside here. And then up here. here. I'm going to uh, wait outside by the this. Uh, I think it's a green roofed building. Um, think like, a, uh, like a carriage. Uh, yeah, it's a covered kind of uh, wagon. Think like a gypsy okay. car yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, like the magic ball lady. Yeah. yeah. Well, Wizard, the first point, was. I'm just gonna princess carry the sorcerer again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What do you want the sorcerer to look at? 
I'll um motion for him to go over to Shadow. Uh, where is I don't see Shadow. He's up to the top. Oh, okay. Right there. I am gonna point out you do have individuals in here that do have heavy armor on. Uh, they have disadvantage on stealth, so yep. your whispering would be quieter than them moving. You yeah. can communicate with speech. I would communicate um, magic circle, <laughs> some sort of ward, and I would show you to the chest. Uh, he's gonna take a look at this chest real quick. Uh, where she go. Well, that's a. I mean, that could be a number, I suppose. Mm. That was his character, by the way. I yeah. forgot to change the name. That's fine. Um, with uh, with the nineteen uh, as before. This is some sort of uh, glyph, though. To know more about it, you'd have to see the entirety of the um the entirety of the glyph and the glyph is being uh obstructed by a um uh, a pharaoh headdress of some kind uh, well, that's exactly it's, it's exactly what he's gonna tell you too he has to be able to see it mm. i whisper do you have a way to disarm this? <laughs> he looks you straight in the faces. Uh, no, I do not. Then I need to continue to search to find what else I need. I need the vials, but I'm pretty sure this might lead us to the actual treasure. I guess my character is going to just stand next to the door and uh, have his hand on his weapons just ready to go. Unless somebody needs somebody to carry something that's heavy. I mean, I can do that too. Mm. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> I have a nagging suspicion that I actually remember something about that obsidian. But, uh... I'm going to go over here, wave to Ellen in, uh, beckon him over here to these chests. Okay. I'm going to need your help disarming these. Um, Ellen in. Would he understand that these are trap chests at this point? <laughs> I would share that information. Okay. I will give that information freely. <laughs> Aria. Mm -hmm. Keeps himself. Aria. Mm -hmm. You need to go through this door. God. Uh, Aria will head over to the door and just take a look at it, see if it's like unlocked or trapped in any way. It, it's unlocked. It doesn't seem trapped. And as, as Arya walks over there, I'll turn and I'll be like, Arya, what are you doing? I don't know. You mean and you don't know? She's going to open the door. Arya. As, as you open the door, on the other side of this door is a creature with two rows of teeth on the upper and lower part of its jaw, facing you. Do I see this as she opens the door? From your angle? No. From my angle? From your angle, yes. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> please tell me you did not as... just do that out loud. Please um, tell me that was not in character. No, my character is not that reactive. <laughs> okay. uh, no, he, he's Arya, more refined than that. Go ahead and step to your left. What the fuck? Oh, fuck! Fellow's gonna run over okay. there as, as, as quickly mm. as he can. Okay, go ahead. 
I'm going to it, follow Felwolf. What? Is it not moving? No. It's a stuffed shark. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I got you. I got you, Arya. <laughs> God damn it. Good. Welcome Take to my house of horrors. God damn it. What the hell? Yeah. Stuffed oh, shark. Oh, my fucking God. As you can <laughs> see, this, this, this full-length shark that has been stuffed and put on display... Oh and a staircase God. in the bot uh, in the bottom left corner or the back left corner of this room that goes up. Oh, I had not open doors nonchalantly. I'm sorry, I need to. And what she's gonna need? start heading towards the stairs. What do you mean you need to? I'm gonna grab her arm. I. What do you mean? We'll leave you that there. To? Uh, rogues. Um, roll, go ahead, right? give me those rolls. <laughs> I'm going right. to aid him in lock picking. Okay. <laughs> I'm god, in danger. Dude. Oh my god, if dude. We hear another I'm explosion. standing behind him. <laughs> I'm standing behind him, so. We okay. hear an explosion from this side. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I, I picture that the, the sorcerer is going to actually take a step back, not knowing the fuck you guys are doing. <laughs> Like and, uh, yeah, I should, yeah, probably, not, uh, I should probably look what he can do just in case. Um, as, puts as up as one you... of those wards from Skyrim. <laughs> My, like, yeah. his ass was about to get reamed. As as now, I'm gonna say it. You didn't. You didn't roll to disarm whatever trap this was. You know. Yes, I did. Yeah. That's what the roll is for. This That's is to disarm. Okay. I, I told him disarm? specifically, I need you to come over here and help me disarm this chest. Okay. Um, this is not as, to open the chest. This is not to go boom. <laughs> as, as you as you slide in your your uh, your thin pliers and you slightly open it, you can see what looks to be a string going straight back. God. You take <sighs> you take one of your arrowheads. As you have Illinan holding with uh, with the pliers, holding the lid ever so slightly open, you slide the arrowhead in and you cut that cord. <laughs> you hear nothing. Because you're dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be My about this time. So clenched right now. It would be at this time. All you hear is ching, 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 from the uh, from the main room behind you, and footsteps, multiple <laughs> footsteps. Wait, uh, what? Oh shit! <laughs> no. All right, Ellen will turn around to look. We'll see if anything's going on behind him. Nothing. Okay. Do I hear this from outside? Um, you hear a couple of footsteps coming uh, from the inside of the building. Okay, but nothing has come in to the nothing. gate or anything. You I see nothing coming the gate. You could assume so, maybe. Paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make me fucking paranoid. This uh, this Ooh, carriage I'm right beside. Up. Mm -hmm. uh, am I able to get into it at all, or any way? There or... was a door on the front. There are steps that go up to it. Jack, this guy's ride. Do Jack, it, dude. <laughs> uh, Let's go. What is this Grand Theft D and D? Chariot, man. Yeah, Grand much. Theft Chariot. I'm going to uh, try and open this uh, this door going into it. Is it, it is like a, is it like an actual door, or is it? Oh, it's locked. It's a okay. door. There is a door there, and it is locked. Of course, locked. is a door. This whole place has been doors. <laughs> well, this this is uh, the exterior of a wagon outside that has steps to it. So okay. this is like it's a medieval a mobile tool. home. Uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, it's the thieves' tools, right? To try and lockpick it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try you and have thieves' tools. Uh, I do. Yes. <laughs> How many thieves in this group? Right. <laughs> Other proficiency. All right. All right. You, did not, you did not set it up right. All right. So that is the proficiency. What? what I, oh do you want God. me to go in there and set it up for him? I can. Uh, 
Sure. Uh, okay, I got you. Right now, in. it's going to be your proficiency modifier <laughs> plus your dexterity and a d20. Come in. Go away. Just roll a d20. Oh, go it. away. Dex and All right, pro. back to the other group while they're doing that. All right, so all that's getting done. Back to this, uh, uh, back to you three here in the little <laughs> stairwell and the shark. So um, the druid's holding the cleric's arm. I'm holding the druid's arm, and I'm pulling everybody upstairs. Okay. What? <laughs> that's two v one. Two v one. Let's go. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? No, stop. <laughs> All right. Don't move. Keep your people there. I will move you to that area. Sorry, oh my god. Just, no, this is, this is not to... what was supposed to happen. This is not what it was. The whole way up. I'm just like, this was not part of the plan. <laughs> the group is separated once more. <laughs> oh my once god. More, it's the fray. This is not good. This is not good. Ooh. Apparently what it is good. Ooh. You're Lock picking teeth. <laughs> uh, that's tease is short for tools. Okay, I would hope so. I would hope so. Yeah, it's just my lock picking lawyer T-shirt. Oh my god, what the fuck is that, Arch? Okay, um, those uh, doors aren't there. This is wide open. <laughs> All right, I, I, I guess I will lead the way since uh, I'm more uh, expendable. What? <laughs> ah, I see something. It's I'm time. gonna draw the warhammer and slowly approach. What, what is the... it that I'm feeling drawn to? What are you doing? Put that thing away. Well, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm gonna I'm draw gonna... my uh, my katana just to, to be safe. I'm just gonna look at the <laughs> at the coffin and just like be like wide eyed. I'm gonna use my other hand to 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 touch. The druid's shoulder and just a rubber shoulder to calm her down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going back, bro. All right. We have well, no business we'll, being up here. We'll leave you guys up there and go back. Down he's just gonna. He's, 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 just, he's just gonna look to the druid and have a really nice smile on his face. He's very calm right now. <laughs> like the overly calm. Yeah. God damn right. it. Back outside. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, you can press middle mouse button, like the scroll, and like hold that in, and then drag to the bottom right. Yeah, press middle mouse to flip off. <laughs> middle mouse to flip off. We're going to uh, Stalin outside. All right. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Mm -hmm. This is why I hate stealth, because something always happens like this, and this <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I'm having and, a blast, man. God damn it. This is as great. You, yeah. As you pick this lock on this door, um, you you try to push in, but it doesn't push in. And as you, you push in slightly more, there there isn't resistance. You just got to pull it out. As you pull oh. the door out towards you, um, you're hit with... Something very odd, you know. You. Oh my God! Feel like you've seen it before. This entire room is painted red inside this wagon. Fuck! Absolutely everything in here is colored red. What? Bro, some some girl, some girl had a bad day in here. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's all red, like everything, like even the chairs, like the same color red. Yeah, the walls, the ceilings. Uh, what you thought from the outside were just curtains. No, the inside of the windows on the uh, are painted. Um, everything in here is the same solid shade of red. What? Okay. Um, is there like a light coming from it inside, or there's no just... light? Um, what? Where you have wax candles? They're also the same red color. I see. Okay. Uh, mm. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna actually step back outside. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with that. And then I'll uh, I'll also manifest my echo to be beside me. You get nervous? Yeah, I get <laughs> I get I get real nervous. I'm like ah, uh, no thanks. I'm gonna just no problem. All right. No, we'll we'll leave Stalin to himself outside. I'll keep keep him um, in the creepy carriage. Got it. <laughs> Next yeah. to the creepy oh, carriage. No. Did you shut and lock the door? I. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I maybe didn't lock it again. I'll just shut it. It's a okay. horror movie. You always lock the door. <laughs> 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 nah, that mother just teleports in the room and suddenly. <laughs> you know. He's not in there with you. You're in there with him. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight. You severed this cord. Now all that's left is to, as you think, unlock this chest and open it. Yeah, I open fucking it. hate the way you phrase that. <laughs> open it. I dare you. You've already paranoid me enough today. Dude. This entire episode Dude. has been paranoia. Dude. <laughs> Uh, if you guys yeah, haven't well. noticed, the name of our of the episode today is Dawn in the Broken Hospital. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's not mm. possibly paranoia-inducing, I don't know what else could be. So, uh, I don't <laughs> think he's ever seen this before, but uh, Shadow would look over at Ellen and sweat dripping from his face. <laughs> I'm about to pick this lock. They, the sorcerer also sees this as he steps further back. <laughs> oh my god. Ellen Ann is gonna... I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> what the fuck is this no, he, he had advantage. Unfortunately, you're still there. Oh. He, he, he used advantage. <sighs> so, unfortunately, he did this while you were still aiding him. Yeah, get uh, as, I'm sorry, uh, bud. As he turns the lock, <clears throat> you hear this BOOM! <laughs> you hear this rolling of gears and a click. And a... <laughs> nothing. That's the worst part. <laughs> the, moment, the moment you let go! The moment you, you let go! Did you open the lid? <laughs> oh my god. I almost don't want to. I almost don't want to. Asshole! Uh, I'm gonna move away now. Oh yeah, you can't move away now. You're left there holding this holding this lock pick in this lock in the uh, unlocked position. Um oh, I open the lid. Oh, As you open the lid. You see, you see this two foot wide and three foot long solid metal crossbow with a bolt an inch thick. Oh, aimed up, almost dug into the floor for how oddly this oh. chest has been sunk into the floor, aimed up out towards your face. Ah! It, has no. not, it has not if, triggered. If oh Ellen was still there, he would have seen the color just fucking drain from Shadow's face. It, you could take your oh, color. Oh, change his color? <laughs> You're a chameleon? The, no, the his, face. his nose his nose would instantly dry. All of his fur changes <laughs> to another color. <laughs> yeah. you, just, you get this like this wave of the fur going up on in and then down. Oh. Like, oh, I just felt my life leave my body. <laughs> my, soul, my soul has left my body. I take this damn crossbow. As you go to lift it, um... I disarm the bolt first. Okay. As you disarm the bolt, uh, and you, you grab this crossbow to lift it, it is, it is heavier than it appears. And as your, your paw, your hands, I guess you could say you have thumbs, uh, uh, rub against the edge. It's been dust painted. The underside of this paint is gold. That's a gold what? crossbow. What? He got a gold crossbow. Come on, fucking gold crossbow. <laughs> this is 
For, for... Who makes a gold crossbow? <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at it like. What kind I almost of got gaudy killed vampire by gross wealth? <laughs> What's that one movie where it's, it's like. Uh, it's like the, 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 the cops searching a car and there's like a freaking golden AK in it. And they're as, like, as you oh lift this crossbow out, mm -hmm. you see bedded around where the hand, your hand would place and where your, your, you'd grab the, uh, I guess this is what the, the grip yes. of the crossbow. There are indents for large hand. Oh. That's and the you, big boy crossbow. you can you can see scratch marks on this golden crossbow in those places. Big boy crossbow. And they're vertical, like they're being uh like oh. something has slid against these. This is some like Van Helsing level shit here. Um hmm. Alright, we'll pause there and go upstairs. Okay, to back to the horror oh, fun house. Okay, I love this. <laughs> the happy fun ball. I was over here um, just giving a back rub to Drew. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You, it's... All three of you will be surprised in this room. The, um... Uh... Come the Alora, Aloria, the wood that encompasses this entire floorboard, um... Is is made of something. I need you to make a nature check. Aria. Oh, God. oh no. <laughs> There's something oddly what? familiar about this sorry uh, this uh coffin in front of you. <laughs> he got okay. a twelve. <laughs> he got a twelve. <laughs> you didn't need a lot. You're you druid he and, know what and what is. No, this this is wood from the elven forests. Though you can't place what tree in particular, there's something very odd about it being in Oasis. So far from any forest whatsoever. Okay, remind me where that is on the map. Uh, Nightingale Forest? Yes. Um, uh, north of Whitewater. Like directly uh, north? Northwestern. Yeah, like northeast of Whitewater. Okay, let me find. I think I have the map. Pulled up somewhere. Oh no. Um Val, as you step further into this room, uh you can smell what uh like this herbal incense that used to be burned at shrines from your homeland. Home. Where am I smelling this particular scent coming from? Sir? Sorry. <clears throat> what was that? Where where is the scent uh, emanating from? Or is it just like a, a fading scent? It's you can smell it stronger as you move further into this room, though you haven't moved anywhere else to see if it's stronger anywhere else. Uh, first question, which is, should probably be the the first and only question: <laughs> Is this actually a coffin I'm standing and looking at? Yes, this is a this is a coffin. Okay. Uh is this coffin sealed? Give me a perception check. It is not something <laughs> I'm good at. Uh I just want you guys to know that uh I'm not a perceptive person. <laughs> oh no, please don't. You no. Twenty one. <laughs> uh this is not a sealed coffin. I will lift the coffin. No, I, I, uh, I, 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 I uh, was trying. Do uh, not touch that. As you push this coffin open, uh, the the lid slides. It's uh, like on a track, and it slides over. And inside this coffin is this deep crimson velvet. Sitting inside, centered in this coffin, is a large golden scepter. Oh. oh yeah, I told you it was safe, guys. That's what he turns around and says. Uh, hopefully scepter, not that loud. This no, scepter takes the length of this entire coffin. That's a really large scepter. 
Um, and it is in, it is entirely made out of gold, and you can see almost where if it was proportional to your body, where your hand would rest, there is uh, grips for what looks to be fingers. Uh, being somebody who's been around noble families, do I recognize anything from this scepter? I'd also like to look over the scepter and see if I recognize it. I'm assuming he's double checking right. data. No, my son. <laughs> Mike Drop says, Yeet the goddamn coffin. I mean. There's always a possibility to do that. I mean, there's a fireplace nearby. Just, that is true. Just flip it over. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to wait to see what our history says. Mm -hmm. Surprised I did that one on perception. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. You know, we're, we're all in good where it counts today, I guess. Ah, uh, except Seems for uh, a couple of those perceptions before. That didn't hurt anybody yet. Yet. Sorry. Right. <laughs> a gigantic child comes and tramples the board. Please wait while we sort out technical difficulties. <laughs> da, 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 da. A gigantic child being Arch. Luna says we're well past break time, so do we want to do a quick 15? Um. We. I mean, I'm good to go, unless you guys need it. Well, I know I gotta piss like a racehorse, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take 15 then, since Arch is dealing with stuff right now as well. Alright. Um, 15 minute I break. 15 minute break. Uh oh, yeah. Arch isn't just dealing with stuff. He just oh, he died. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, break intermission, everybody, while we get Arch, uh, while Arch gets himself <laughs> back into the uh, into the game. Oh fuck, that's the wrong button. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nex. I am a streamer. I don't know much about D and D, but I do know how to roll a D. It's a D twenty. Um, I just this is the chat. Um, I'm a streamer. This is my sponsored message. I don't so right now so they put this ad on so this is my advertisement for the sponsor i'm nags i'm a streamer um this is the chat say hi guys there and um yeah i hope you're enjoying the D, D show um and i hope it's great and uh hello D, &D qdc and and thank you so um yeah I'm Nags and I'm a streamer. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.
Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nex. I am a streamer. I don't know much about D and D, but I do know how to roll a D. Is a D twenty. Um, I just. This is the chat. Um, I'm a streamer. This is my sponsored message. I don't. So, um. I think they're going on a bathroom break in the D&D session right now. So they put this ad on. So this is my advertisement for the sponsor. I'm Nags. I'm a streamer. Um, this is the chat. Say hi, guys. They're... And um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the D&D show. Um, and I hope it's great. And uh, hello, D&D QDC and... and Thank you. So, um, yeah, I'm Nags and I'm a streamer. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.
just have um and we're back welcome back everybody we're still having a few more technical difficulties with the dm still being uh mia at the moment so we'll probably do a little bit of a q a here so hopefully you guys understand uh who wants to start us off while we try to give arch a few more minutes Hmm. anybody check any questions for us i mean i could toss a ton of questions at you if you want uh, do you think Shelly is lube? <laughs> 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 I said from the start it was lube, okay? It very well could be, though the, the graininess in it, probably ain't a good idea to use as lube, unless those are like, uh, like, like those little, um, oh, what the fuck are they called? Like the boba balls. Uh, uh I mean, they just. They get I'm into all those thinking, hard to reach spots, you know? I'm kind of thinking it's probably jam or something like that. What are your questions you have for me, Celia? Or whoever questions? No, somebody said they had a question. Yeah, Celia. Celia had questions. Oh, I mean, I can toss a bunch of questions out for everybody. Let's go for it. Go Let's ahead. Go. All right. Put on that interviewer hat. All right. If your character wasn't an adventurer, what would they do? Um... That's the easy one for my character. Uh, if he if he was not allowed to be an adventurer, he would be uh, a knight. Alrighty. As of uh, my character, he's not necessarily an adventurer yet. At least in his mind. So he's just kind of um, a good Samaritan. Hmm. I suppose I'll rephrase the question then. If he picked up a job, a steady, stable job that was law-abiding, what would it be? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha All right. So I'll actually give you a little bit of lore. Um, he comes from a family of tabaxi, and his mother essentially uh, pedals and handles right now. Um, there's not a lot of good market jobs or, like, stuff of that like, so he would probably go back and assist his family with that. It's, it's how he was raised. I do have... Um, Velf has another uh, thing he would do. Um, knighthood is something he would have definitely pursued if he was an adventurer, but because he chose the path of adventure, he actually found uh, a hidden passion. Um, Felwolf found out that he enjoys cooking. So you want to be like a chef. <laughs> mm, the gourmet. Oh, we went in. I'm kidding. <laughs> All this time, and it ended up being an orc. Right? <clears throat> I am so orc. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. <laughs> what about um, you, Spaz? Um, a Loria would be either one of two things. A blacksmith or a... um. Owning a uh, like an herb garden, Ooh. primarily because those were the two uh, occupations of her parents, um, and before she became a druid, those were kind of what she was either going to choose one of those two to be her career. Luna says that her no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, herbs like, like alchemical herbs. Come on now, alchemical, <laughs> alchemical ingredients, herbs, that sort of thing. Spices, <laughs> herb slash flower shop. So you got any spice? The spice must flow. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Next, moving on. 
LNN is pretty easy. Uh, he was a sailor beforehand and would probably still be doing that in the Navy. So, I mean, still kind of a bit of an adventure, but not exactly. Probably. Or so with just military life. Yeah. Yeah, Stolen is pretty similar like that. Um, he would have, uh, pro if he wasn't a bounty hunter, he definitely probably would have became, um, joined like the uh, Whitewater like uh, Navy or just be a sailor. Selling your wares. I will uh, say that sailor. I will say that uh, I believe it was Melody brought up a funny coincidence um, uh, when I was in the process of forging this character. Uh, oh, because remember when you first found out that he uh, fell off enjoys cooking, and you're oh. like, so you're just trying to make the ideal man for any woman. At this point, it's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I feel like that's deja vu. Either I was there for that, or I said something similar when we were talking about it. I don't know, but that sounds incredibly right. familiar. He's heroic. He's dependable. He's loyal, and he can cook. Ladies, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, apparently gives excellent back massages. <laughs> mm. Get on that Tinder profile. Yeah, oh no. my god. Oh my god. Go <laughs> for uh, Wolf now. See how much he gets. <laughs> oh man. Dude. Just put his whole uh, character my description. D &D character. Yes. D&D &D Tinder. Let's go. Alright, anybody else got any questions? Mm. Of course. Re All regarding right, this session. Alright, what do you got? Uh, what season does your character like the best? Uh, for my character, oh. it would. We haven't talked about our seasons yet, have we? No, we, no, we haven't. Hmm. I'll right. have to pull, pull that image up real quick. Point. I would say. Human. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. what? What season? Is it season? Human? Season, yeah. Yeah, oh my Are god. Season? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He couldn't figure it out. He couldn't figure that it out. Said, that was a human. I think you said human for me. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, human, bro. Human. God damn it, dude. I need help. <laughs> he all about that parsley. <laughs> so, I, so, I, so, I, so I like some rosemary myself. Oh, I don't man. have enough time for these jokes. <laughs> oh, no, get out. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone's being salty. <laughs> oh, Luna asks, what are your horoscope signs? Slap both of them. <laughs> what are your Elf? horoscope signs? That doesn't quite work here. I, yeah. uh, do you mean for our characters or us personally? Because <clears throat> like that really only works for us personally. Yeah. Yeah, that time she doesn't says, really work for them. She says she was joking. Oh. Well, since it's a question anyways, <laughs> for those of us that actually know horoscope signs, let's just say it anyways, because oh, that's fun. Hmm? I believe Mike's still in the chat. Mike, you got any questions for our characters? Does the Spartan have questions for the... Not really? Alright. Damn, can't believe Mike doesn't care about our characters. Feels yeah. feels We're bad. We're not a bad man. the Spartan, alright? It's okay. Dude. And here I thought Mike was a friend of ours. Fucking yeah. damn. <laughs> I would have thought I made a character worthy enough to be a Spartan, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Mike. <laughs> or excuse me. Love you, Master. Oh, oh my god, no. Oh. 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 Burn it with fire. <laughs> Hold on, wait, watch, watch, watch how he reacts to this. He says, fuck oh, off, Spaz, question mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he gonna say anything? No. I don't think he's gonna say anything. Sure, he just, just walked away. <laughs> he's What's like, I'm next? done. I'm What's out. Next question, Celia. Okay, uh, does your character think more with their heart or their head? Heart, for Ooh. sure. I would say there there is a there is kind of a, a, a pendulum swing 
with with Aloria. It's it's very situational, um, but for the most part, um, lo logic tends to win out over uh, emotion, except for extreme instances. It's almost kind of the same way where he's a tactical mod, but at the same point, as I've explained before, he's a type of person that absolutely wants to help as many people as possible but he is also able to partition that thought process to approach scenarios with a tactical perspective so if, right. he, if he knows that it's bad that he can that the situation is too bad to go in and save somebody uh if he is going to endanger other people for example he wouldn't do it because it's one of the things where he can save more people this way. Luna brings up a uh, good point, actually. It says, she says, you guys have stuff that will be revealed later. How long has Arya and Fel been adventuring together? It seems like he reacts to Arya with complete trust and understanding. They have been traveling I mean, for years. It's what four years? Three or four years, yeah. Like they have been traveling as adventurers. Uh, they are their own team, basically. They've gone through uh, quite a bit. This, yeah, they've gone through the Elvish terror. No, they didn't go through. They went through the uh, human territories. They went through the East territories. They went through the Sands. Uh, they've gone through a lot of places, doing a lot of adventure. We've gone yeah. through the Sands twice, actually. Yeah, this is why uh, Felwolf was adamant to where if Shadow could get the team to the sands, he could get them to safety. Yeah, and honestly, like, as of right now, Arya is probably only trusting Fel in, in the group. Yeah, and that, I mean, and that took a, while. a little bit of that, to be fair. And then everybody else has earned a little bit. It, it, for the amount of trust that Fel has from Arya has taken him a long time to get. Yeah. And, and even then, Arya still hasn't told him much. Like, she, she's not a very talkative person. So. At the same point, Felwolf doesn't ever really push. That is true. Felwolf has never pushed. You're not nosy enough. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, Laurie's gonna take that. Laurie got that covered. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the, that hammer. I'm gonna bust down that wall so fucking quick. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> uh, Luna has a question. That says the brothers don't travel together often. They have actually traveled together in the past. Yes. However, because they are half brothers, they are. They have the same father, two different mothers. Uh, one brother was raised in the west. The other brother was raised in the east. Uh, periodically, they met and they did adventures together, etc., etc. But each brother had their own path in life. For example, you heard that LNN was part of the navy. He decided to follow the life of the military. However, Felwolf did not have an option like that. Being the eldest of the sons, he was expected to learn the ways of uh, being a head of a family. So the two brothers are Felwolf and Elenin. The, the half-orc the and the half-el. Or the, they have yeah. the, uh, the red and the green cloaks. That is correct. One father, two separate mothers. Mm -hmm. Alright. So... Which we knew that was going to be a point of, of, of confusion. They're like, how oh, are you guys brothers if one's a half orc and one's a half elf? Well, there's your reason. <laughs> it actually makes sense. No, I don't. It's not I like, have a and shitty it's... mic right now, so it's kind of hard to speak regularly. Yeah, also, I mean... I'm a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> He's just also, the rogue part, yeah. Ellen and isn't like, like totally... Uh, I totally have... All, I believe you said before, there are some... Like orcish speakers, like you have like small tusks, like small tusks that aren't really. Yeah, seen. instead of normal like canines, like most humans and elves would have, he has small tusks. Yeah, you can't really see it on the on the artwork. Uh, you can barely see felwolves, but yeah. Yeah. 
um the the father of course was the the orc uh if that wasn't obvious uh and Elena's mother you'll learn about uh as we progress through the uh story uh same with Felwolf's mother that's going to be something you guys can learn about as uh as viewers of the story it's something we're going to keep to ourselves because not even the other players know about our family or our background so uh enraged asks uh he missed the it says he missed the first episode how did we all come together um well sadly the first episode it all started uh, was, it all started in time exactly. inside um <laughs> but yeah so we met well, the first episode is now lost to lost to time and memory because I guess it got corrupted or something, and we couldn't save the, no, the vod. No, the, the setting wasn't done correctly. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, we lost the vod. Well, we we but we all as a group we met of of course in the uh, in the tavern because where else do adventurers meet? Um, though our situation was incredibly different than you know most the most campaigns. Uh, begin because uh, uh, Shadow, the tabaxi, ended up carrying in um, an injured human uh, with stolen the uh, the sea elf uh, at his side. Uh, that human being uh, Eloria's uh, travel companion from Whitewater to Oasis, um, who she did not figure out was kidnapped until uh, the, the morning after the uh, the, the first or their first day there so uh and then shadow was being shadow and stolen were being chased by the town guard and some of the bishtar um so the like the i guess the the cap not the captain but like whoever was in charge of that like squad had walked in while his uh his guys surrounded the tavern you know interrogating um albert our sorcerer who is not here sadly um, he had technical difficulties in DC. So, but yeah, he was interrogating him while everybody else was off to the side setting up for, uh, to ambush. And when, uh, when the captain tried to, uh, apprehend Stolen, um, when they were trying to convince him to just, like, have a drink and leave, uh, that's when a fight broke out. And we... <laughs> absolutely annihilated everybody who had come in to try and uh take us with uh fell wolf uh notoriously so trying to mad. walk trying <laughs> to walk up to everybody and be like hey let's just talk this out and then we as everyone else who was ranged just keeps on shooting them down whether yeah, it was arrows or spells i'm just like i can try to save so you just don't attack stop yeah. right, just they, were, talk. <laughs> they kept on trying to attack fell and we're like nope fucking blast him with fire shoot him with arrows and he's like all right screw this so he pulls out his sword and joins the fight but yeah we dealt with them pretty handily and that is how we all met and uh, formed our alliance here. That was probably the quickest I have ever had a character be given a nickname. As soon as I drew my sword and did my first stance, everybody need, immediately called me Weeaboo Samurai. Yep, Weeaboo <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> immediately. Here's the thing. Here's the yep. thing. You you literally are like our our uh, our group's protagonist because you're like <laughs> you're trying to talk shit out but like everybody who like attacks you either misses or just dies before they can get to you <laughs> and then when you actually draw your sword you like dash in two different directions hitting like two people like in the blink of an eye and it's like jesus christ dude can we get, can we get any more cliche with this right now it was great. it's pretty awesome though uh, and it was badass. Not gonna lie, it was yeah, badass. Awesome. I mean, sometimes cliches work, and for Phil, <laughs> it just kind of works. <laughs> it was <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, it was great. Had an it was odd dumb. nickname come from that, but I don't remember why they called me that. They called me the furry John Wick, and I was just so I know it's me. About that was it. me. <laughs> yeah. I was I you, John Wick. Yeah, that was me. I said oh, he's basically furry John Wick. God, because <laughs> you did this scene. Because you you described when you were killing this dude, you were just staring him in the eyes or something. And I was like, "Yo, that's John Wick. He's furry John Wick. Let's go." <laughs> was that the one where I essentially did my uh, feline sprint across the room? 
saw a guy right as he ran a corner, drew the arrow, and just slapped it right into him. I think so. I don't remember exactly what, what caused that scene, but I just remember I was like, yo, he's basically furry John Wick. Let's go. Well, had I have added my actual bonus, I probably would have gotten, if not the first kill, at least aided with the first kill, and then every uh, single uh, hit uh. would have been a kill after that. Yeah. Uh, for your knowledge, uh, Gerbil, since you were not here in the, the first session, uh, something that's unique about this campaign uh, is the fact that uh, one of uh, I am playing a class that has been made by the DM, so it's a completely custom class. That's why everybody's saying I'm Samurai, because it's the name of the class. The Samurai class. So, if you're wondering... If I'm a fighter, I'm not. I'm not actually a fighter. I'm completely a samurai. Yeah, no, this 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 mad lad along with Arch, they in the span of like a few nights, they custom homebrewed a a samurai class. Um and and several subclasses in that samurai class. It, it's freaking insane. They love when they, they had described it to the rest of us, it was like God. Yeah, there's a lot to to each of the subclasses that actually make it feel distinct. Yeah. And of course, since it is a homebrew class, there's probably going to be a few things that are whack. Uh, like <laughs> the fact that you can, that you're jack of all trades in this shit right now, and you're just making us faster, or you can dash different people. Or literally, uh, what was that other one? It was like flowing water stance oh, or whatever, yeah, where say, you get everyone that. disadvantage. So there's the first one. That's the, the one that gave me the Weeaboo Samurai uh, nickname. Uh, it's a lightning flash dance. This is the one where I can lunge a 10 foot uh, reach to strike against enemy. And I can do this equal to a number of my wisdom, which is honestly not that much. So it's like two. I can do this twice in a row, basically. Um, but this is something that allows me to close distance or do like tactical maneuver. Like I said, this is a very tactical individual. The one that I used today was Fleeting Wind Stance. Uh, this one allows me to use uh, a plus 10 boost to a couple of my friends based on my intelligence. Uh, and the one that I used last time was the Flowing Water Stance, which is basically my tanking stance. Uh, I can make enemies suffer disadvantage against me, but I have to suffer a D4 on all attack rolls that I make. Which isn't um, that much this uh is a class that's based on stances kind of how like the battle master gets its uh techniques uh quite a similar way uh however the subclass that i am which is called a stance master gets access to a few unique stances that the other subclasses don't the trade-off is i don't get other things uh uh, that will boost the samurai skills like the other subclasses do. So this is why I'm more of like he said, uh, a jack of all trades where I could do a little bit of everything, but I'm never really going to shine in one thing because I'm so versatile. Just got a jacked con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm honestly excited to see just how much the class can do. Um, and not just his class, but like what everybody's do. Because I've never seen an Echo Knight. I've never seen the 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 Twilight Cleric, and I've I've never seen the Wildfire Druid in action, which is what I'm playing. Um, I've never seen or played this 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 class, and so far I am absolutely loving it. Though I haven't gotten the chance <laughs> to use the uh, the class's core mechanic, the yeah. Wildfire Spirit, which uh, you can see in in my art is uh, as a flaming owl. But I have not summoned said owl yet. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to. But, but no, have no fear. It will definitely come out eventually. <laughs> so to answer your question, Gerbil, it's not actually an action to switch stance. What you get is think of it like a free action where once per turn you can choose a stance to swap into if you would like to swap into a stance. Otherwise, the stance that you're currently in remains active until you deactivate the stance. Right. So think of it like, and, like, like if you're playing an MMO, right? There's there's their global cooldowns of all your abilities. Where when you press a button, everything goes on a cooldown. 
Well, imagine one turn as the global cooldown. Well, in MMOs, there's also things that are off the global cooldown, which are which don't respect that you know that uh, that like beat cooldown that goes after you press an ability. Yeah, that is basically what that is. His stance switching is like an off global cooldown ability that you can use uh, once per turn, per once per like global cooldown. I guess it's it's a weird way to describe it, but that's yeah. the best way I can yeah, think of. That's basically yeah. the way we approached it too. We wanted to make it where it's a, a little bit of a take on modern gaming, but was still within the core mechanics of fifth edition. And we think we did a really good job on that. You also Before, took a little been... bit from like fourth and third edition, where you had like the um, warlord or um, whatever they were called beforehand. Another one was essentially like a fighter warrior boosted. You're up thinking of the its... warrior. No, no, the, there was a class called. I, I don't think it was warlord. I think it was like um, something else. But it essentially was a melee or a martial class that focused on buffing and boosting its allies around it. Um, which it, you kind of take a little bit of a flavor from that. Not a whole lot because that class was severely underpowered. Um, even though it was kind of got... Yeah. And it, obviously... Uh... Not yet. He's he's currently getting on. He got his power on and stuff like that, but the internet still be a little bit janky. Um, so we're going to try to get him in here hopefully in the next few minutes. But, uh... Uh... Now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um... What was it that you had Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, oh. Of course, because this is a custom class, we mm. are expecting to have well, to Mike. change things. Yeah, Wolf Mike. Uh, we are expecting to have to change these, tweak things to, to keep the, the class balanced, obviously. Um, but for the most part, we believe we have it balanced. Granted, we're only technically using one subclass, so maybe in the future, uh, if this class is uh, popular, we may see somebody else pick up another subclass. Who knows? Multi-class even. Mm. Which, yeah, I was correct. It's called the Warlord. It was a 4th edition class. Okay, yeah, I didn't touch that edition. That one made me throw up in my mouth because they got rid of magic. <laughs> they didn't get rid of magic. They just changed it so much that it was very much a headache for anybody that had used it previously. Um, they tried doing something that they actually achieved in 5th edition, which was make it a little bit more understandable um, by giving you powers that were um, encounter or er, at will encounter daily uh, powers and that was the three main things and it was it was very much a headache because it was like yeah I could see how just that statement alone made me want to shoot myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was already used to third edition and 3.5 so I ask fell. I literally, when I first started getting used to 5th edition, compared everything to my previous knowledge, oh. and stuff was so drastically different, I had to sit there and just, like, hold my head. Yeah. yeah. I know some of you may not actually be able to see the uh, Team Epic Discord, but uh, we actually, I had posted, um, I I'm not going to go too in-depth about this, because I want to keep that to one of our next streams we got coming up, which is a talk about our characters uh wolf mike please um but i ended up posting a picture because uh i still have the hardback first edition monster menu like the gary gygax monster menu from when our forefathers played D, &D. and uh they didn't quite believe me at, at first and then i dropped the picture and they're like oh my god How's that thing not eviscerated yet? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys uh, do tune in for the stream where we talk about our characters, and it's uh, my turn to talk about my character a little bit more in depth, you're going to learn that this is a character I have uh, planned for a long time. It's very near and dear to my heart for very specific reasons. Hmm. 
Yeah, so as he was saying, we're essentially going to have other streams throughout the week where it'll be like talks about our characters, um, backstory stuff, as well as um, what our the way us and our characters would respond to things. So um, most of this will be uploaded at a later date or even on YouTube. So yeah. Yep, we plan on characters. having a. Yeah, we plan on having some uh, highlight videos of the streams, uh, and that will be just on our Team Epic TV or our Team Epic Productions TV on YouTube. Alrighty, uh, Celia, do, dost, dost thou have more questions? I can always get more. Alrighty, let's hear them. Machine gun that shit. I'll take history for seven hundred. <laughs> History? Okay. Well, uh, are any of your characters religious? If so, why or why not? Hmm. Mm. Uh, my um... character apparently prays to Iron Jesus because <laughs> they were making fun of me the first time. This is fucking... Yeah. I killed the the first person, which was supposed to be the heavy hitter, in um, a surprise round and then the first round of combat seeing as I was the one with the highest initiative. So. Damn, yeah, motherfucker dropped that dude dead. <laughs> <laughs> I only yeah. got the first kill of the entire campaign. Not even uh, two turns. Well, Shadow's not necessarily religious. He does believe that there is a possibility of something after death but he is unsure as to his current motives are surviving he doesn't really give that sort of thing much thought though when it does come up in conversation as episode one he is generally very respectful of religion and tends to um just uh, I can't remember the word for it, but essentially be as polite as possible. Oh, who is pinging us on Hold Discord? On. Oh no, that's not good. No. Oh, oh yeah, man, talking about that. What the hell? Well, that is very not good. Well, it looks like we're going to be able to talk a little bit about uh, some questions, but that might be it for the night at that point. It looks like our DM is having some rather severe technical difficulties. So if you guys want to keep tuned to, to hear a few more of these questions, uh, we'll do that. Probably spend another 30 minutes talking about that. But after that point, I think I might call it. Uh, yeah. for what's the stream there. So, 30 more minutes, we'll talk about some character details, so stay tuned there, and then uh, we'll peace out after 30 minutes. Yeah, right? Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> he's having some rather severe problems right now, so uh, hopefully the uh, Arch will get that resolved with very little pain. Uh, back to the question. What was the question? Is your character religious? And if so, why or why not? I actually am very similar to the previous statement. Uh, Felwolf is, uh, since he has traveled, and not only that, but because of the area he's from, it's a very shamanistic area. Um, therefore, there's a lot of shrines, a lot of monk temples, things like that. So spiritualism and mysticism is a very big thing in the East. Um, he is aware that there's something. Uh, but just like the other character, he himself is not necessarily religious, but he will respect everybody's views, so long as those views don't necessarily put people in harm's way. Hmm. What about you, Stolen? Well, um, I don't think my character would... I would not say my character is extremely religious either. Um, I feel like he definitely has more of a uh, appreciation for Mother Nature and uh, and the ocean, mainly at that point. So, 
I'd say kind of similar to those as well. He respects mainly just uh, keeping to himself when it comes to that stuff, how it's, he sees it as it's more of a person to person thing, but. Gotcha. Religion wise, he respects nature a lot. So he thinks just deeply connected with it. Aloria? Um, Gloria is, is not, uh, is not religious really in, in any sense. Um, it's not something she was, you know, raised to believe or, you know, has come to believe. It's not really something she thinks about. Um, especially not over the course of the past, uh, I want to say, yeah, like six, uh, years of her life. Um. Even even when it when it comes to nature, it's not like she worships nature. She more so just has a connection with it. I mean, like like most of they don't worship it, but they protect it and they work in tandem with it. Um, so that's the closest she gets. But still, it's there's no real religious aspect of her. It's just not something she thinks about. She says, clearly, if you don't know what wood is, don't worship it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What about you, Elenin? Um, Elenin is a sailor, and if you look historically, pretty much all sailors are religious to some degree. Um, he, for the most part, doesn't pray to any singular god, but uh, any god of the sea he respects and uh, admires other than that it's kind of just a uh, more laid back tone to it but he does um, acknowledge pretty much any sea god that there is from any culture nice yeah. and if it wasn't obvious, Arya is kind of religious. Uh, she <laughs> grew up in a very religious place and was around a lot of talk about the gods. Uh, ended up becoming a priest first before actually getting her powers more so than anything. So, not sure which came first there. In and all staff honesty. worshiper, Jesus. Yeah, well, she, she's a worshipper of a singular god, but she believes that there are other gods and will honor them otherwise. Like, she doesn't specifically give prayer to one god. She, she does, you know, worship all the gods, but she is a disciple and a follower of a specific god, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have a giant staff. No. She has a warhammer. No. To beat people's skulls in with. Yeah. It's, it's like a regular priest. Either you believe what I say or I kill you. <laughs> you mean like Warhammer style? <laughs> She'll beat the faith into you. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't go that far. She, she would, you know... Give her a ruler. Oh my oh god. god. You've been oh. naughty. No! <sighs> no. That reminds me of another character you had, Fel. Oh yeah, yeah what character would that be? Oh, I don't know, about a certain colored lady. The red lady? Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody loves the red lady. Luna! Luna, yeah. tell us a chat about the red lady. You oh my you god. Uh, uh, she says, uh, <laughs> briefly. Mm. She didn't knock Tyrone's ass. Well, actually, here's the, the funny bit is, um, Cyber actually slapped the Red Lady, not once, but twice. In a mm. row. 
Uh, and everybody basically in the group at that point went silent. Like, you could hear a worm fart. <laughs> because everybody was like, oh, he's so fucked. <laughs> I DM'd the first campaign with that particular character, and, well, a certain Archlord decided that they, he was going to 1v3 the Red Lady, this really big Minotaur Lady, Lynette. and this human doctor. Dr. Warren. Yeah, Dr. Warren and ah. Lynette. They were a husband and wife. That was really bad. Can you demonstrate a warm fart? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was getting ready to say that. Yeah. Durable has the best questions. Absolutely. Durable gets play of the game. Hey, do a warm fart. So, God, that's such a good, like, <laughs> descriptor. All right? Oh, you can hear a no, warm um, fart. You guys can use that for later. Put it in your pocket. You can use it. I'm stealing right. that, absolutely. Just to say this on stream, um, I'm jotting down that golden crossbow in my inventory since I did take that. I'm making I, sure I jot down my don't stuff. Don't forget that the golden crossbow also had a bolt that you looted. We don't know what the bolt itself does. I don't remember I what he said. You shoot said. the bolt. He said it what? was a inch thick bolt. So you can kind of get the size of the crossbow. But we don't know what the bolt does. It could do yeah. something. So uh, this is this is not crossbow, like a heavy, heavy crossbow. This is much bigger. Okay, so uh, a heavy crossbow, right? But like made of gold. How much is that going to weigh? <laughs> a fucking lot. <laughs> yeah, this a lot. Is, That's like something a, you're going to have to give the fell, probably. <laughs> Uh, so it's like it's like a handheld like um oh that's something else i need ballista. to to chime in real quick mm. oh can't use it he can't i, use I it. already knew that no just Fel to hold it oh i'll say fell can't use any of your weapons as a matter of fact mm -hmm. that's boys. one of the things that comes with the samurai class that we decided the samurai is only limited to exotic weapons Yeah, that's a whole thing. It's pretty big limitation, but it's cool. And rule of cool always well, applies. More of a specific weapons to your culture and training. Exactly. Not exactly. Exotic exotic. Is, is yeah. It, well, it, we we deem it exotic because the normal C would be long swords. Mace, longbow, etc. Those Army I can't swords. use. Yeah, I have to use things in our campaign that would be from my area. Something that would be exotic to other people. If all your weapons break, then I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> like monks, I don't get martial arts or anything like that. We actually thought about giving the samurai martial arts, and he and I tried to bounce around our heads against each other and we're like it wouldn't work it was too powerful yeah yeah the difference between a monk and a samurai yeah or I use mean, um an asi to get a feat so you can get uh on arm fighting yeah something like that i mean you could always tweak the class using feats uh which like you said this is a character i've known i've been make for a while so i know exactly how i'm going to develop this character Martial arts is not going to be the way I'm going. I'll tell you that there's, right there's also a couple of um, beats that are homebrew that would work perfectly. It's um, There's ones like Aikido and Jiu-Jitsu, where you could work on grappling and throwing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, just um, multi-class into... Which are mm -hmm. accurate. Well, so the problem is... Come is from the Samurai. Samurai is one of the ones where you don't want to multi-class, because if yeah. you could reach... Every, uh, if you could reach max level, there's a very good benefit. And I'm not going to reveal what the benefit is, but my, my, my pool of weeaboo-ness will drastically <laughs> increase. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is one of those classes where it's like, it's S tier if you do it right and you don't 
uh, multi class. Exactly. You could right. probably get a S class build kind of style if you did it right, and it was really just you're picking up the samurai stuff as a booster to whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, pitch it to Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. Uh, just rename uh, the class to Weeaboo. Because, like you said, they already have their samurai, and they 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 dug that grave. Yeah. Apparently, they're <laughs> proud of it. Dumb. They're not proud of it if they're gonna change it. Yeah. I mean, that is true. They're changing a lot of things, though. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, okay, I things, should say I this: proud enough to submit and actually put it in a book. True. I'll no. say that. What that I will say was an investment. I will say as a rebuttal, I like to get things done right on the first try. Yep. I'm with you 100% there. Well, that's part why you need to pitch Weeaboo instead of Sam. <laughs> Just call it Weeaboo. Yep. Way of the Weeaboo. We are way of the Weeaboo. Mm. And uh, we make a show. also, just so it's on record, um, a lot of us, or, well, Billy, or Fel, mm. Mm. um, Damn. The dogs. Arch, and myself were all big into, uh, what you call it? Uh, history as well as martial arts uh, stuff like that um, so it's not like we haven't looked at what's realistic it's oh yeah we approach really this with a level that. of logic for sure we have a, a history major like a person that is in college to do freaking archaeology and shit history person that has to study this kind of stuff on top of people who have traveled the world and studied some of this shit and people who have actually been s trained in it that's who we are that's the the minds that went into making this class granted as i explained before this is a fantasy setting so we did give it a fantasy twist hence the little bit of weeaboo in there Honestly, it's got a good feel to it, from what I've seen so far, and I'm interested to see where it goes from there. Well, it's, um, like I said, I'll talk a little bit more about it and the character himself uh, whenever it's my chat day for the uh, the character day. But uh, as for the uh, the stream today, we got about 10 more minutes before we're going to start closing it down. If anybody has any more questions uh, for the players here from the chat, now now would be the time uh, before we do a couple questions from uh, Celia. Maybe you got anything else for us, Cell? Doesn't really chat has much. Oh, they're asking about the players. Who else is players? Oh, um, yeah. So there's Celia, who is our cleric, uh, the half elf cleric in purple. There is Starfighter, who plays Stolen, the sea elf in blue, aka the Smurf. Um, there's <laughs> Fel, who is our half orc samurai. Um, then we have uh, Melody, who is our Tabaxi yep. ra uh, Road Ranger fighter. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then we have Elenin, our other half elf, half orc um, uh, rogue fighter. And then me, as me Spaz, as Aloria, uh, the half drow wildfire Luna, druid. Luna, by the way. I don't know if somebody else did, so. Yeah, Luna is not a, a player. She's our producer, our boss. No, I was actually getting a text uh, from Luna. Oh. Um, 
Oh yeah, there's also um, uh, Delta as uh, Albert, the um, the our sorcerer, our divine soul sorcerer. We have dubbed thee the boss. Therefore, <laughs> thou art the boss. Yeah, I mean, it basically is. You're the one that's uh, keeping the cogs oiled, so. I mean, Up until our, someone else has to. We've already made the loop joke. We're not going back to it. <laughs> <laughs> the joke has been said. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Oh, yeah. How the hell did you get into the Discord? I have no idea. <laughs> what? I didn't do it. Someone just left the door open. Damn. <laughs> what me? I wonder if Cal accidentally had, had uh, a setting wrong or something. Cal's the one that made the server, so. Who knows? Yeah, we'll look it over. Well, it's not going right. to kill anybody to have one person. No, I mean, it, it, they can uh, chill in the, the main channels, but we'll keep yeah. the uh, in-game stuff locked down. So. We, we game often. You'll hear us in there BS, and um, just if you come across one of our D&D sessions, please just, you know, put yourself on mute. Hashtag respect. Hmm. From Hentai Haven. What? I'll just what? say Huddle House, but whatever. <laughs> Huddle House? Hoover House. Oh, ah, Hoover House. It's, Hoover House. <laughs> it's the uh, other boss man. Oh, the yeah, yeah, it's yes. Well, the, hello. It's the store that I DM at in, uh, in real life. That's ah. Cool. Yeah. That's who that is. No worries. Yeah. You're probably just jumping in to chime. Yeah, we're actually going to be closing it down here in, looks like, about five minutes. So, any final questions for the group? Uh, we're going to call it an early night due to a lot of technical issues with a couple of the, uh, the people here. Uh, and we can't necessarily continue without a DM. So, uh, we're going to be done until next week. Unfortunate, but it has to happen. Yeah, it happens. But uh, I am willing to, to hear any extra questions from the chat, or uh, if you need the players here, would like to ask questions. That's also uh, an open floor. But uh, five minutes. I mean, I do have one, if nothing else. Go for it. I don't see chat coming up with anything. I think we're good to close this bitch down. Okay. Well, final question then. Uh, what animal best represents your character? <laughs> really? Do I really yeah. need to answer that question? I'm going to this. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing a giant head on my shoulder or anything. <laughs> I mean, Flaming. I'm not you know, an animalistic person or anything. <laughs> that was like, a loaded question, sir. Bruh. <laughs> you knew better. Rat bastard. <laughs> You rat bastard! <laughs> he just wanted the question out there so that one was out of the way. <laughs> Maybe. But, uh, before we break, I do want to do a reminder. Try to uh, chime in uh, whenever we start doing those character talks. You will uh, learn those extra background details you may not find out in the actual campaign until the time is too late. Yeah. And then I you just realized like, oh, something. Yeah. So. So it might be uh, beneficial. Not to mention, we are a very comedic bunch, so you might hear a couple jokes you might like. So hmm. maybe, 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 maybe. Let's go. I, um, I any other know. actual questions and not loaded ones? <laughs> well, Celia. Yes. Yeah, do Celia. you? Well, I mean, I could, but I'm pretty sure we already know the answers to them. 
Oh, oh, here, here we go. Well, we won't know until you ask them. Look, like, come on, let's hear it. All right, all right. What's your favorite character's favorite color? Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, here's an actual one. Um, does your character like to eat food? And if so, do they usually like it like heavily spiced, or are they more simplistic and just eat to just have the nutrients? So I'll answer first because my answer is probably going to take the longest. But uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, my character found out that he, a drink. <laughs> during his adventures, he learned that a warrior does not fight good on an empty stomach. So with that thought process, he began training in cooking. And that's where he found out he had a passion for it. So he likes to try to invent new dishes uh, as well as try to make dishes that are your normal average adventuring like roasted squirrel or uh like barbecued snake whatever it is you'd find on World your stew. yeah things you'd find on your adventure he wants to make them better that really way good. his friends have a more memorable experience they're not just eating your standard fare kind of a thing anybody else um, Elanan uh, is used to sailing and eating food that you can only eat at, uh, or the only food that you can get on a boat or ship. So any food that is not basic survival food is good in Elanan's eyes. So yeah. and worthy of being enjoyed. Uh, Arya has actually had quite a lot of experience, like, just for everything. Anything from, like, just straight up meat to, uh, having, like, fine dishes that were made by a chef. So, she kind of prefers to have, like, good meals. Doesn't like to, to have just food or anything. She, she prefers to have a good home-cooked meal. Usually with a lot of spices. Um, yeah. Next. Growing up in the city of Oasis, Shadow has had a really hard time finding good food, mostly for the point of usually if it's good quality, the rich have it or the important people have it. Um, and uh due to a lot of people running around and causing as much chaos pestilence and stuff running through the city as possible he has a really hard time trusting food so he has to essentially test it for poison every single time before he eats or drinks anything Aloria? Um, kind of, kind of a, a complicated one in her case because uh, the just the way Aloria's background is, um, having not uh, grown up a druid, like you know, her tastes are more so in line with like with just like standard what you would see as like like middle like middle class to middle to lower class um, like standard fare and in a like a normal uh town um so things and generally as it since a kid she's been more partial to you know meats and uh breads um specifically but since uh becoming uh, a druid they they keep their her circle kept a, a far more balanced uh diet than what she had normally ate, eaten as a as a kid so while she is partial to you know certain you know, stuff like meat and bread um generally as often as she's able she shows to keep it you know balanced all right um for right now i'll probably keep the rest of it to the uh the character talks just not to give too much information out 
and uh, looks like we have uh, reached our limit for the night. We have no DM. I want to thank you guys for coming out, and watching us, enjoying some good laughs, watching some adventure going on. Uh, we hope to see you next week when we got everything resolved. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, crossed. hopefully being the the key word there. Um, once again, thank you all. Hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy some time off. Uh, thank you for showing up. Peace, kids. Have a good night, everybody. Everyone.